That poor woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the yacht, La- <laughs> yacht club. Hey, SC. <laughs> the weekly show. Can you, first of all, can everybody hear us? Hopefully, you can hear us, and everything's going well. I'm, um, I'm Dr. Murray. I am, I am. Oh no! What happened? <laughs> okay, I'll fix it in a second. Let me just do the intro. Welcome to the yacht club. It's the weekly show where we go over everything Star Citizen. Uh, we talk about the hottest topics. We talk about what happened throughout the week, whether it's in the community, whether it's through uh, Star Citizen official channels uh and we try to do it all while uh keeping our drinks upright and not spilling them and having a good time so so yeah, for, the, for the next hour sit back relax uh grab a drink um put your put your feet up and and join us this week we have a special guest uh whose name is buster the destroyer <laughs> So I, I'll change the names around and get that sorted out. But but it's Buster, welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm glad to be here. Why don't, why don't you tell us what you're drinking tonight and a little bit about how your week's been? Um, I am drinking vodka with some orange juice and a little bit of club soda. Ooh. And then which um, is called? Uh, I have no idea. Whatever you want. <laughs> oh, okay. I was what did I say it was? A the fizzy, a, a fizzy <laughs> screwdriver. A fizzy, a fizzy screwdriver. Fizzy. That's right. Yeah, there you go. And then, um, and uh, what what was the other question? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> Who am yeah, I? Right on Who part. are you? <laughs> um, I like I said, like we said, I'm Buster Destroyer. I play Star Citizen on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then on Thursdays I host the Night Crew Show. Um, this this week I was actually on the Captain's Table on Saturday. Mm. Nice, nice. And how'd you enjoy uh, that? I 
enjoyed it intensely. Wait, it was wait, a lot of fun. I was actually Virgo. 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 Virgo's my internet <laughs> husband. Car there. <laughs> Vertigo? Awesome. Yeah. yeah, Vertigo's my internet husband. <laughs> yeah, that kind of like kind of like your your work hubby. Yeah, exactly that. Like a work spouse. That's nice. like what we're going for. When we say it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I just tell him how to dress in the game because he 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 wears freaking yellow jumpsuits all the time, and it really annoys me. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Like if this relationship's going to continue, you're going to have to get it. Not wear the jumpsuits anymore. Have to give up the jumpies. <laughs> I have a reputation. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, yeah, I enjoyed the captain's people. table, but some people apparently didn't enjoy some of what I said. But we'll talk about. No, that that's later. why you oh. go there. That's exactly why you go there. So, uh, so I mean, you go on there and you say things like "fuck that question," <laughs> <laughs> which will segue into. We're sad that Jordan's actually not here tonight. He has some yeah. stuff going on, so we're we're with him. He's with us in spirit. I'm sure he'll be yelling in chat later. But yeah. anyway, pick up his slack. Yeah. I like how Shadowkin has my background. <laughs> I, just I know, right? Oh, I, I gotta fix that destroyer. now. That's kind of fitting. <laughs> I actually. just saw that. <laughs> That's kind so of funny. funny. Yes, in spirits, gin and tonic. <laughs> Very much in spirits. <laughs> and yes, uh, you, you probably noticed that that Joran isn't here. Uh, Joran had some some <laughs> real life matters to attend to, uh, so he couldn't join us. But it's awesome that Buster could join us to. He, fi- he had some serious him. wife aggro. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be all politically correct and not spill <laughs> his our all shit all over the table. <laughs> Not Dr. Murray. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You'll see, this will quickly spiral out of control, Buster. <laughs> oh. But as it already. Um, I had to change the backgrounds. So, uh, Dr. Well, Murray, why don't you tell us about what's going on uh, in your life this week? Um, what's he drinking? Lot. Water. Yeah. Thing. No, I. He's, he always do. That's why I never ask him anymore. I was drinking Seven Up in tequila, but oh, okay. there you tequila. go, nice. Are you gonna brand one? No, we're not gonna say the name. It's, <laughs> it's an expensive one that's clear. <laughs> expensive one that's clear. Well, there's only one that I know that's like that. But <laughs> moving around, so it's a silver tequila. <laughs> well, that's true. There is a couple. Of them. It's, right. it's a real tequila made from agave. Mm. Yeah. I like- I like silvers. I like thing. I don't like gold tequilas at all. I don't like it either. Ugh, no, God no. They they stay with. They wake up with you the next it's day. Like, it's like yeah, exactly. Taste. That's the problem with gold yeah, tequila. Yeah, exactly. They wake up with you the next day. Stays around. <laughs> You're like, remember me? <laughs> like, <laughs> you were supposed to leave while I was asleep. You were supposed oh. to go away when I. I was just supposed to leave you a check, and you were supposed to just go. Oh wait, that's different. Never mind. Yeah, they, different. They, they don't accept checks, Shadow. No, they yeah. really don't. Casual. <laughs> hey, it's my I've been background. Told. Yay! Hey. I've been told. Chat, is my voice better now, now that I adjusted my mic? Chat, yes. Chat. Maybe. Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> yes, Dick. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Great. All right, and... So and did... Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you drinking tonight? <laughs> well, I, I you said it. You have an interesting little drink you're drinking. It is. It is. I said it was a dark and stormy, but that's actually a lie. Uh, it's it's Tito's, Tito's vodka because I have like three bottles because I went crazy when I found it uh, up here only, in Vancouver. Really you don't really, really, you don't really get it up here. So I was pretty excited. And uh, root beer because I had some root beer lying around and I f- went and Googled it and I found out it's a thing. Uh, Tito's actually has it on their website. Because it's awesome. It's really, really good. So Tito's and root beer, specifically mug root beer. I know, really oh, not okay. see, but it's it's good. <laughs> it's it's kind of kind of Drake root beer, but it's really good. And uh, and yeah, it's awesome. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna call it a uh, uh, what am I? What was I gonna call it? A Tito's. He already forgot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a really bad Tito room. Yeah, Tito root. Tito root. Tito root. Tito root. Yeah. For all the Australians out there, it's a Tito root. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glad she's here. <laughs> I'm, I'm making yeah, it more classy by drinking out of a copper mug. So, oh. Nice. Yeah. oh. He's going to call it a root mule in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> a root what? mule? And then, 
my t-shirt this week. I'd rather be a space trucker, right? A my space part-time. fucker? <laughs> trucker, trucker. Sorry, oh, trucker. I should change it. I should change it. <laughs> I looked. I, the thing Tell was you. in the way. There was too many letters to be once, the other one. Once you That's go black right. hole. I saw Ucker. That was it. They were done. <laughs> What I saw, what I said, were two different things. Learn to read the right way, Jesus. <laughs> I think read left to right, and sometimes right to left, and sometimes top down, and sometimes yeah. not at all. It's all the switches and stuff. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we've gone through Shadow. We've gone through Dr. Murray. <laughs> Uh, Buster, um, where can people find you? So, uh, you have your own channel and you're also, uh, the host or the producer for the night crew, as I understand it. Yeah. Um, K penguins is our leader and I am, yeah, I'm like kind of assist. you know, I'm like, I manage with him and, uh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the, the, blah, blah, yeah, the host, I could say the word host. I'm the host of night crew on Thursday nights where we talk about star citizen and then K penguins will do our other show where we'll either, they'll either play another game or they'll talk about other games. So but you can find cool. me on Twitter at Buster destroyer. It's just Buster destroyer on Twitter, Buster destroyer on Instagram and Buster the destroyer here on Twitch. Just like the okay. name above my head. The hostess cool. with the most it's in chat. Now you can click on it. And how often do you stream and when, when is uh, it? Like, like on Tuesdays and Wednesdays is when I stream on my channel. And then of course, Thursday nights I do <laughs> night crew on their channel on okay. that channel. So nice. So tomorrow night, then, everybody check them out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come see us. What time well, we, Eastern? We, oh, that's a good question. Um, Nobody cares about Eastern. What time Pacific? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I only know the time in Pacific because for me, okay. it's, it starts at 930. <laughs> it's three versus one, Shadow. <laughs> Damn it. It's, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's 930. <laughs> it's, it's 1030 Central. I'm um, Pardon me. 1030 Eastern, 930 Central, 830 uh, Mountain. Mountain Time, and 730 Pacific. See, I and got all and when in Prince Edward Island? What about Prince Edward Island? <laughs> it's an extra what? it's an extra half hour. They have an extra I half hour. Get to Prince Fair, Edward. It's what it we is. It's, it's like the them. most eastern nobody, point in Canada. Nobody right, caters right, to right, Prince right. Edward Island. Like I, I know what PEI. Just like the Canadian goes. government. Does. Nobody lives on the East Coast. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> you and keep then, your PEI out of this. <laughs> and, 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 Shadow, what are you drinking tonight? <laughs> I you did that. see my chat thing. I did. No, it was lo- it's funny because because my best bunny, uh, Pixel, came over and he dropped the deuce. Oh, nice! I can't see it. Oh, it's not working. Oh. You can see that it says douce. M- move it in front of. Douce. Yeah. Is that is that what it is? Because because we douce. just the deuce. deuce. Yeah. Drop drop douce. the deuce. Well, it's a really nice cognac, which is nice. this is kind of a, it looks straight out of a, a video game. Yeah, it looks yeah. very. Um, you want to name it? I know I've seen this that, before. That, that Assassin's Creed. There you go. Well done. Yeah, pretty fine. Very nice. Cognac, not bad. So very, I've very been busy nice. all week. I've been living in a hole with a lot of work in it. So. Move so, on. <laughs> so let's just talk very generally for a second. Do you think that that this week was a lot of content, or this week was a like a as a lot of streamers say a content drought? What do you guys think? Was it just just in terms of percentage of of how much content there was this week? <laughs> like I, I said, I've been in a hole. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> I okay. Watch what I, seriously, I don't even know. <laughs> so, I was so we're, we're taking <laughs> applications for another member for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bite me. <laughs> how much of you even watch half this stuff? <laughs> no, I do. Feel like it was a little quiet. What do you think, Buster? We had a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff like covered, uh, you know, I'll kind of say what I said on like the captain's table as far as the uh, star citizen, star, blah, 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 inside star citizen went like there was a lot of, <laughs> there was a lot of information sort of glazed upon, um, but it, it wasn't stuff that like, I was like neat, cool, but it wasn't stuff that I was like, oh, oh cause there's definitely been episodes of that where I was super excited about something yeah, like talked about. So nothing, hey, nothing like spoke thing. to me greatly Things that are bit specific. Yeah. Hey. yeah well so were you stoked about caves like all right so let's 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 gauge it what was your what was your what was the thing that got you like all crazy and oh my god the like, caves were cool the caves were they cool. were pretty cool um and 
I'm trying to think. I'm just like my mind's just like trying to go over things that have been <laughs> happening. <laughs> but yeah, mostly caves. I mean, caves were really cool, and especially that that uh, not RTV, but um, Star Citizen Live about the caves was really mm-hmm. awesome. Was I did really like the player wearables from I think the week before. I think that was week. I I like that, but at the same time, it was like, hmm. Um, mm. I just I, yeah. I like I like when the new like concept ships that I enjoy are announced, especially uh, like yeah. Santaki Eye, you know, things like that. Ooh. That's the kind of stuff I'm into. Okay. Um, or or like that kind of cave, like caves or like decor, like uh, what is the what's the cloud cities called? Uh, Orison. Or Orison's Orison's the, the, the city. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. that Orison. particularly was something I was like, whoa, because I thought immediately like when they have parks on that, I thought of like I'm like I'm gonna be Leslie Nope of the first. Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> like if anybody's watched Parks and Rec, like Leslie Nope is like one of my spirit animals. So, <laughs> like, I love, love, love that, and I thought those uh, were cool. cool. I like, I like places for sure. I think you can just say I like new places in the game. I think yeah, I think clear. that's that's easily easy content to get people because so different. I mean, everything's so dramatically different. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So what about you guys? Like, uh, Doctor Murray. <sighs> Haha. What about me? What did I do? <laughs> what, did you, <laughs> like, what do you think about the content for the week? No do you think it was? Do you think I it was... think there was plenty of content. There's usually plenty of content. We we've okay. never had a problem finding any. No, no, we certainly don't. We certainly don't. Okay, well, let's. If we don't, we we can fill it up pretty easy. So it's fine. Okay, well, why don't we talk about what did what happen uh, throughout the week? <laughs> Very quickly, I'll run through what the major topics were. So we had new weapons or weapons we'd heard about uh, be. Uh, they spoke a little bit more about them. Uh, we saw tram or train updates. We saw some damage persistence come through. Uh, there's changes in the dust coloring, uh, decoupled lighting, the Merlin and the Archimedes. We get a little bit of show off of that. Um, we also get to see some scene dressing. Um, and then also later on, we've got uh, sort of an interview with Buster the Destroyer, which is going to be a lot of fun. So for, for right now, she's sitting as a stand-in for Joran as a standard host. And then after that, towards <laughs> the end, better we're going to do a... <laughs> <laughs> Thank no, you. He's a, he's a handsome young fella, but I think I'd rather look at you. <laughs> New bra. Who dis? Who dis? There you go. <laughs> Before we dive into the show, we've got a couple of announcements, real quick ones. Um, We have been working with Mufosa75 to put together a new... Can you not say Mufosa? Mufosa? Well, it's it's spelled M-U-F-O-S-S-A. If it was Mufasa, it would be M-O-U-F-O-S-S-A, wouldn't it? No, it would be M-U, but... All right. Mufasa. Okay. We don't want to confuse you. All right. So he's... He's absolutely awesome. Uh, Mufasa's great. And he's put together an amazing piece for us. Uh, he's Do we have a had, preview? Uh, I don't have it to play right now. I'll see if we can find it for a little bit later. <sighs> but <it>. some anticipation <laughs> kind of coming together. It's, that's the sneak peek. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you some details. It is instrumental. He's a composer uh, with yeah. many award-winning pieces. Cool and, and he loves doing um, Star Citizen themed pieces. And he's put together some really fun stuff for us. So we're going to have a great new intro coming up pretty soon. We're trying to decide right now if we wait for uh, the 890 to come in before we actually put together mm-hmm. the, the animations, the visuals for it. Uh, but we will see that coming soon. The other thing is you may have noticed that the Discord has a new logo. And it's the same logo, but it's been uh, one up and sort of 3D rendered and it's spinning around because you guys have done an amazing job. <laughs> you guys have done an amazing job um, giving us your Discord Nitro boosts, which. Yes, uh, which we thank you for. And they're awesome. Yeah. And, and that's just one of the perks uh, that we got with it is an animated Discord logo. So we love that. So we on mobile, so it animates if the server is active. On desktop, you actually have to uh, mouse over the server list for it to kind of move its so Joran said he would sing if we got that so uh since Buster's oh. in his place I think she has to sing yeah that's how it works yeah you I'm pretty sure that's how it works right round sure. baby right round there we go baby right round 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 yeah <laughs> steps up to the challenge <laughs> right on 
<laughs> don't don't make me sing dance for that one. Really good at it. <laughs> by by like one and a half hours, we're well, going to be daring still. each other to sing all kinds of songs. I'm sure. Oh, well, <laughs> no, we'll, 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 we'll take we'll take bets to actually get that in. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay. So should we take it day by day, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Hit it, lady and gents. Okay, so Thursday we had Inside Star Citizen. And what did we have? This is the first oh. thing that, that came along. And it is the bearing 38 pistol and Klaus and Werner. Looks like a 45. Lumen 5 can SMG can. B comes out. Yeah, that's more the... Actually more like a 44 Magnum. <laughs> that is a good like looking it. gun, by the way. I, think, I liked it. And don't I think it's supposed to be a 45. Yeah, 45 more. Either it's, way, the grip is too small to be a forty-four. Magnum. If you Over. see, if you see that, you turn the other way. <laughs> as well, yeah. as you can. I think it'll be what I carry now <clears throat> because it's better than the LH eighty-six, smaller yes. caliber. I just so really like that they set up. They set up like a, a proper range. To, thank to test you. That. I with, really with hope that forth. makes it in the game. Yeah, well. I really hope that <laughs> makes it in the game. But it even should, be right? nice. you buy a gun, you should be able to take it to a range. That would be yeah. cool if it was like an add-on to like Star Marine to like test guns in for ranking. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, instead of like going into like a lobby, you can just say, hey, I want to test some guns in Star Marine. That would be so neat. But they're not going to give us something like this that's great box. No. It, it would have to be, it would have to be texturized and. This is just for yeah. them to show us how far Polished. the range is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but still, I mean, even if we had even just the black box around, just with targets we knew, and yeah, because there's so many guns. Oh, there's there's a lot of guns in the game. There's soon there's the whole mark coming. It'd be really cool to actually know what the hell's hitting where before you get in a fight in the real PU. So <laughs> that's why anybody you, uh, else want a Star Kitty gun. So two s- people, I want a Star Kitty gun too. Right? Scott Savage says that Jordan said it was the Idris range, and you know, since he's not here, <laughs> then that that must be what happened. Yeah. So if you have any issues with that. Uh, just take it up with Jordan directly. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> directly. Please don't, directly. don't involve us. <laughs> I just saw that once again, my name is Dr. Murray. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what happened? I had goes. this all set up. <laughs> I'm the, I notice I notice how his it. name doesn't change. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> notice how mine's fine the whole time. <laughs> that bastard. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you were so fired. All right, I'm gonna get I was just seeing how long it would go. It's been a little while. I'm glad you said oh, something. You, you, I when I when I set it up, it was perfect. <laughs> it was, I even was. I remember moving Buster over Bus, Buster it's over back, to the left back and the town yeah. used to work too. Anyway, <laughs> they sometimes <laughs> just don't want to work. That's why we need to switch to OBS because this explanation. If you know our space. show, it's never perfect. In fact, the uh, imperfections are what make it great. <laughs> that's, that's kind of every streamer ever. Like, don't worry. Nobody. Pretty much. No judgment well for done. me. I've, I've had these moments many times. <laughs> Thank you, Buster. Thank you. Because <laughs> the flack I get from these neophytes, I tell you. Son of a- <laughs> neophytes. Whoa now. All right, and the next thing we saw... I'm say something we can't take back. <laughs> something I'm going to re- regret? <laughs> nah, never. Until all right. Citizen Gun, at least. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'll have to buy all kinds of drinks, which I'm prepared to do, yeah. assuming I have a job by then. So this is PTU testing. <laughs> so this is the part where Jared came on and said that we had to um, be very grateful for all the Evocati for doing all the testing for us. Are we really grateful for you, Doc? I don't know. Most people aren't. I'm grateful. <laughs> Most people uh, are jealous. That's what yeah. I get from it. But they don't realize how much work it is. No, they don't. Yeah. No, so, they don't. It's 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 great fun. Like we crash every five minutes, and me and my friend that does it, we're just constantly going. All right, well, time to start again. And I crashed. Oh, all right. Like we can tell when a server is going to crash before the server knows it's going to crash. So we have all this fun. It's going to suck for people who come after release, whatever that is. They'll never have to play the PTU. So I've got a I've got a topic discussion later on, which we'll talk about. You know what release is. Uh, and and what that kind of means. Yeah. Uh, Board gamer had a had a cool piece this week that that is worthy of Ooh. talking about. 
Uh, that 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 guy, the bald guy, the other bald guy. That uh, oh, is this more that Canadian? Price? <laughs> no, he's I'm he's pretty sure British. Everyone's bald up there. He's British. <laughs> he's not British. He's Northern. totally British. <laughs> oh no, he is British. <laughs> What are we talking yeah, about? What have you been drinking? Okay, the next <laughs> thing. Does, does anybody want to talk about, about uh, the PTU and testing and all that? I, I anyone? Well, Guys, there's only I'm one tell you what the PTU you is. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making fun of the video because they did. We're like, this is what the PTU is, and it's it 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 yeah. adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was kind of the, watching doesn't know. That was the fluff piece. <laughs> then we move on to the tram behaviors. I I really like this. This was exciting, um, purely because it's just the way that they'll set it up so that uh, the trams are organized, that wait times will be less. Um, it shouldn't be really? something that's overly Why? exciting, but it's no, well instead of waiting for you know a hundred or two hundred and twenty seconds or whatever it can be. You know, I think the I most think it could be was 180 seconds. There we go. But yeah, now it'll probably minutes, be 20 or 30 minutes, seconds, four minutes, seven you know, minutes, depending yeah, upon arrival. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be good. It's, it's Shanna doesn't big. know how many minutes, <laughs> how many seconds Matt is a minute. Hard. I just want the hot dog and burrito trains. Those were really yes. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Can we get some interesting trains? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there will be. I'm sure there will be. Well, hey, there's a Hello Kitty train in Japan. That's all I want to know. This is one of my life goals is to ride Star that. Star Kitty train. Yes. Yes. I'll show, I will find a picture of it. Then we'll bring it up. It'll be later in the show. We'll make it happen. Country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll do some drawing later in the show. Don't worry. Okay, and this drawing. one drawing. I'm gonna do some drawing for you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a crime scene. Are you gonna oh, do it in God, the bathtub? No, 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 no. Keep you don't want to see me in the bathtub. So, so this this God, here, this here. I, I thought this was exciting. So you can see that the damage state has been saved on the the pieces of the ship that have broken off. Um, and it's cool. And the, the, the reference they use is that if you, if you write your name in the side of a ship, you know, with, with the bullets, yes. if, if it breaks off, you'll be able to see that. And I, I just think for immersion, this was, this is a big thing. Uh, I remember ages ago when they, they were writing RSI in the top of, I think it was a saber, uh, mm -hmm. or, a, or a gladius. And, you know, we, that was such exciting tech at the time because nobody, had, I did no other games had that level of fidelity when it came to bullet holes and damage states, so, you know, on a, on a ship. So what, what, what's your tag going to be, Busta? What are you going to leave on the side of everyone's ship? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to draw maybe, a penis. Maybe we should switch to, maybe we should switch to x ray at this point. Two balls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I, that's exactly what I thought as soon as I saw this. I was like, oh man, there's going to be so many fouls. <laughs> just just write tea be... bag. <laughs> I'm going right. to draw so many pippies. <laughs> <laughs> Why You're not? Like, wait, who, who would draw that? Oh, son of a... <laughs> yeah, I know exactly who. Yeah, you know that's what's going to happen, but I'm okay yeah. with that because, I mean... It's funny. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> now, now they need to come out with, like, paintball rounds. <laughs> So we can just go and yeah. start tag things. Oh my god, yeah. yes. That's a genius right, non offensive, idea. right? You don't get a crime stat for no. drawing on somebody oh. else's ship. Well, surely it's vandalism. <laughs> get, get a little crime stat. Oh, like, it, depends, it depends on what, like what, what where you're at, right? Yeah. Like like a parking yeah. ticket violation. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Versus getting thrown in jail on uh you know, like tell uh, terror or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw so right. so. anyway. And, then after that, they were showing um, uh, sort of particle effects from from uh, shooting the ground in different colors. That's really what it is. And driving well, over the ground in different colors. It's, Just the plumes yeah, of... In interfacing you know, with the ground or anything yeah. for that matter. And the color effect that would come off of it based upon the part that would deflect. So, yeah, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. I mean, I would yeah, think that would be as soon, but... Poof. Yeah, I, I, but I, I'm I'm curious how they're building these like squares because that that tells me that any particle that's loose in that area will show up as that color, which is probably accurate. I don't know. Yeah, as a technology, 
But either way, I mean, they're still miles ahead of even games that are single player. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'd like to see, you know, in that, if they had driven through colors that were somewhat blended, like rather from, you know, instead of from purple to, to yellow, maybe there was a purple kind of blending well, yeah, that's yellow and, and see if that, well, just see how it blends. Right. So if there's an explosion, like <laughs> a grenade hits the ground. Yeah. That's a show. <laughs> <laughs> Will it blend? Because it, just, it, it seems... Blend? Uh, th- this early implementation seems like it's you know you run over it's pixel color well, yeah, a you, you cross have over to go the threshold is now pixel you have to go to the extreme that's it oh yeah, sure you have to sure, go sure. extreme yeah but i mean it's hardly groundbreaking yeah. tech but we'll get there oh oh want, i'm sorry i want more groundbreaking tech Cap- <laughs> Captain groundbreaking tech <laughs> okay where's no, that just... at? Uh, we're looking for another person to replace this asshole i mean this person over here <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what is this here? This is the uh, this is the decoupled lighting. Mm, yeah, this so, is cool. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, we're, we're not going to call it groundbreaking tech, are we, Steam? Mm. I don't know. Actually, did, you, did you call me Steam? Like the whole network? Steam. Steam. No, he didn't call you Steam. <laughs> Steam would have hair. Yeah. Steam would have hair and, and a, a Van Gogh, Van Dyke, whatever you call it. Oh yeah. I don't know about that. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know about that either. It looks nice, though. So, Buster, hey? did you watch this? Did you see this? Because I'm curious. What do you think? The decoupled lighting? Um, first of all, explain to me what decoupled light is. Is it lighting that I can control? No. No. Then why yeah, no. no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't couple with it or decouple GFO, with it. GFO, right? I mean, yeah, it looks so. great. It all looks wonderful. I mean, it's beautiful as well. You know, I, I used to be a professional lighting designer. So, I mean, I can nice. like kind of assess this from a, a a professional and, you know, academic point of view because I've literally took classes on it. I mean, I think you should, I, I think it looks fantastic. I do love a lot of the colors and what they have going on. I also like, one of the things that I appreciate is how much the fog, like their, their steam and fog is catching lighting because, you know, I don't know if you guys, I mean, I'm sure you guys have been to concerts like, you know, a fog machine is a lighting designer's like greatest friend. Oh, yeah. Rock concert. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. And I think, mm-hmm. I think it really adds depth to these scenes and it helps that lighting like punch out more. I mean, it, it just, I, I think it all looks beautiful and fantastic and it, it, it heightens those looks even more. Like, especially on that shot, it's coming up in a second. It has like some, like almost like sunlight coming through from the yeah. left. Um, yeah, the glare. Yep. Let's see. There it is. Wait, not that one. It. Yeah, there. Let's wait for it. No, nope. no, I know which no, one she's no, talking no. about. No, okay. Come on. <laughs> come on. There. I swear it's nope. the next one. Well, that's nope. rays come. There we go. The nope. sunlight. Not that one. Not that nope. one. Nope. That, not that one. There. Okay. That one too, but this one right here. See in the left side. Left side. Beautiful. Well, it's not on there yes. for y'all guys yet, but it, it was. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, watching I, I'm, I'm watching the stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's the one that was coming on left. Like that, that's probably my favorite one just because I love the nice. way that looks. Nice. How natural. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, I, I, I got to say, exactly. I, I think the best choice they made was to put lights in behind the fans, <laughs> the turbine fans, because mm-hmm. that's totally what you do. It's so realistic. You'd put lights behind all the turbine fans. Oh that's yeah, what I, I do. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? But it's gorgeous. That's what I do. I put it. I put it behind every fan in my data center. Yeah, Every, that's totally what I would do. It's the RGB. <laughs> there it is. The RGB. It's the you have to have nightmare that, of the data center. You have to have that stroking effect, <laughs> like that one. <laughs> yeah, it's all. I love it. I love. No, it so decoupled much. lighting is supposed to be the ability, the ability for things around you that are not directly controlled by your instance to actually control the lighting. So somebody else walking past you and controlling the lighting, like you know, they're deflecting a light behind them creating a shadow and then things that are not controlled by players you know a a, a tram passing by or object being thrown at stim because he's screwing up the broadcast or something or i mean that sort of thing yeah it's that you know which is neat because i mean that brings immersion because you know somebody walks past you and there's no shadow it just doesn't seem right yeah yeah Yeah, exactly hide behind But no, that that's what it's supposed to be. But I get it because that's really cool. I mean, when you have you know thousands of players potentially, even just ten players near each other, the lighting is that. I mean, if you want immersion, that's where it's at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> where and is the, that? Oh. And then after <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. okay, can we start with the most angering point of this entire thing? 
This thing really? weighs eight fucking tons. <laughs> yeah, that's one. <laughs> it's supposed to be a snub fighter. He's this big old girl. Oh my god, stop it. I, I do wonder thing? why it has such a big front nose on it. Like Doc, what's the second thing know? about the difference between the Archimedes and the Merlin? What do we hate this about the Archimedes? Well, I don't care that it no doesn't have a drive. Gun. It doesn't <laughs> have a Gatling gun anymore. Yeah, it's it doesn't have that center line oh. gun. It's, it's a fuel just... scoop. It should be the other way around. Does it not have a gun at Merlin. all? The Merlin still no. has it. No yeah, gun. It has two wing guns. guns. Oh, come on. The it has a gun. Gets a it must have a gun. Otherwise. No. Well, I don't the know. The Archimedes it has two wing guns. It doesn't have yeah, four. There you go. But does the okay. Archimedes get the chance to change the center there's the, line? Yeah, there, there's the okay. guns. It's got two holes on either side. That's four guns. No, Bob. What? That's the Merlin. Like, it only has two gun, it has two wing guns and the center yes. line gun. Thank yeah, you. but there's two holes on each wing. You saw that, the, right? Two, two holes, doesn't, holes doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking no, about? So it decides to shoot a projectile is... through one and then a projectile through the other? No. Like, oh, that no, makes no, sense on like fired. a Gatling gun. He's fired. No, we lose the big, giant, awesome centerline gun. I never do Which, had one of those. You would think it would be the other way around. You think the Archimedes would get the good gun and the the Merlin well, would get the weak the Archimedes get the fuel is, scoop. The Archimedes is supposed to have four size one guns, not just two. To, but they so, have less. We'll see what happens with that. And no, well, in that, that case. fuel scoop is supposed to keep it flying longer, so it makes sense. Okay. It's a racer. It doesn't need the weight of a gun. It does oh, still weigh eight tons, though. It still weighs eight tons. <laughs> Isn't this me, or does it look like a shoehorn? <laughs> it looks right? like a lot of funny things that I cannot explain on air, but um, <laughs> you could buy them on Amazon by the it, truckload. It, it looks like a... <laughs> I, mean, I don't understand the nose. You know? That's, where yeah, the fuel like I said, we go back to my previous comment. <laughs> but like, what, what's what's in it? You know, if it doesn't have a Gatling gun, what's in that? It's got a pigment? fuel scoop in it. It's a fuel Center scoop's not fuel that scoop. big. Yes, it is. It's a small yeah. ship. Well, I mean, the bigger it is, the more the fuel is scoop, amazing. which is kind of the point. Yeah. Oh, I love the seat. That's beautiful. It yeah. looks like there's a lot of butt pads there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looks mm. comfy. <laughs> done a great job. <laughs> So do you think that the uh, the Merlin and the Archimedes are no longer effective as support fighters for the no. series? They're not supposed to be a support fighter. It's supposed to be that little runabout that you take out from your bigger ship. Remember, the, 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 this was a ship that was designed like as the big ship when it first was in. This was long mm. before ships were even big, right? That's and right. They had yeah. one. Right. So that, at least that's my take. What do you think, Doc Busta? I don't know. I think it's pretty, but um, it pretty. I don't know. It's, it's just... purpose, though. It's purpose. What do you think about his purpose? <sighs> All I know is I had a Merlin that I upgraded to a car Oh, <laughs> A Merlin? You mean an Archimedes? One of them. Whatever. I'm, I'm <laughs> the, guessing the one that looks like the... A Warlock. Actually, it was a Warlock. Never mind. It was a Warlock that I oh, yeah. oh, okay. 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 I still have my Warlock. I guess I got confused with Merlin and Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you I think about the I damage states? I can't understand states? why you make that decision. The damage states look cool. Yeah. That's the yeah, wear state. Yeah. That's not just damage. That's just yeah, wear. Yeah, wear. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. The black and part. It's rusty, yeah, it right? Work. Like, that's rust. Yeah. Like, I actually pointed this out on Captain's Table. Like, how can you have a bunch of rust on a ship unless, like, if it's in space all the time? Because well, oxidation, yeah. Oxidation. Yeah. yeah. And, well, maybe well, the ship's leak I mean, oxygen. It, it, we don't know. Well, no, it, <laughs> oxygen, is, it doesn't have to be specifically oxygen that creates it, but it would definitely yeah. take well, some for rust. It takes rust it does. Yeah, that's the definition. Yeah, every time of you're oxidation. you're in an atmosphere, you space mm -hmm. rust yeah. duck. Space, <laughs> space oxygen. Space rust. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Season so how how many P seventy twos can we fit in the eight ninety? It's the product oh, of the big front nose so, fuel scoop. Up. Just <laughs> saturates yeah. the exterior with space oxygen. Right, it looks like yeah. a knife. It looks like a space knife. I, I like it. It's fun to fly. It's beautiful. Stream it's, beautiful. it's fun to fly. <laughs> that's a that's yeah. a, an Evacati leak. Your NDA. I was is talking about the revoked. Merlin. Leak, leak. Oh, I see. I see. Good save. Good save. If if I flown the Archimedes, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Never. Oh, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. 
No. Have to kill everyone on this broadcast and everyone that's ever watched. Yeah. <laughs> oh, which which cat's that shadow? Jasmine. Yeah. Jasmine. Jasmine. Your mammy. <laughs> I'm not even a cat She's person. Lady. I know its name. Well, I, I was, know, right? I was saying that for the benefit of our audience. <laughs> sure. Sure. You can't even remember your cat's own name. I've been fuzzed. Stim cat. Anyway, that's her name. Stim cat's very angry with you. Anyway, we were going along. Stim cat. Stim cat loves me. All right. So after that, so that was Thursday. Um, and for those that notice, I didn't mention the neutron repeater. Um, that was on purpose. Uh, the neutron repeater. Why? Why? Because. Um, because I didn't. Because your mom because, didn't want to talk about it. That's why. That's right. Oh, <laughs> there it was. The that's right. first mom, mom joke. Mom. We knew we were coming. <laughs> Jordan's not here, so we can act like children. <laughs> oh, love it. Just love it. I love it. Daddy's, that Daddy's away. Mom, mom jokes come out. Now I, now I feel like we're at home. <laughs> <laughs> so uh. on Friday we got the newsletter, uh, roadmap updates. We got some. Uh, and then, of course, dressing the scene, the Star Citizen Live. So the, the the newsletter was basically just saying, again, thank you for Eva Cotti for doing everything they're doing, which is amazing. Yeah. Uh, and watch then there's Pillar also, Talk. yeah, <laughs> go watch Pillow Talk. We had Basilisk Armor Innovations, blah, 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 onwards and upwards. Blah, blah, blah. They do talk about CitizenCon 2049 tickets, which go on <laughs> sale tomorrow. So Tomorrow. if you're going, bye, 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 bye. if you're going, uh, very, very cool. And then okay, today, here. earlier today, here. we got an announcement on the actual uh, times and all of that as well. So I will bring that up later on in the show. But then, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, we've had the times for a little bit, but there was actually an announcement. So I'll, I'll bring it up. We can discuss it later so, on, later on in the show. And then there was... I... There was this little reveal, which I think is awesome. Uh huh. Which is what? <laughs> this is the, the Prowler, Prowler interior. We don't know uh -huh. where it is. This is behind uh -huh. the cockpit. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty okay. obvious where it's at. <laughs> it's yeah. only one spot it could be. <laughs> okay, so so then, Mr. Smarty Pants, when those things open up, what do you think are in those? Mm -hmm. Your components? Well, all the modules. Yeah, it's all the components. Okay, that's, that's what I think too. Components. It's all the component. <laughs> it's a kitchenette. No, yeah, kidding. it's a kitchen. No, it's a bar. I swear to God, that one yeah. on the bar. That's like, right. I could totally put a couple scotch glasses in it's there. It's a dry bar. Yeah, but, dry bar. Yeah, that's no, where you put the components go. Yeah, look at that right side. Dude, you could stack a couple bottles there. <laughs> Trust me, I'll be able to stash a few in there. That's where your life support system goes. That is scotch is life support. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hurt back yeah, those ships are going to have a scotch rich atmosphere. <laughs> That's right. Yep. If you're not inhaling scotch, then die. <laughs> if you are, then you're definitely going to die when you watch what I do. Either way, we're going to Okay, and it's then so there was. Uh, I didn't line this up properly, so I'm going to do it this way. We had wow. a... If you guys haven't seen this, I've had a chance to see it. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's the... Um, Scrolling in an entire newsletter to find no, something? It's the, well, I am. It's the Because it was in the <laughs> newsletter. It's the Hard Space <laughs> 6 teaser. I've actually watched the whole episode. Can we watch it? <laughs> the whole episode? No. Uh, let's well, watch no, the, just the yeah, trailer. Let's, let's watch the trailer. Yeah, that, that was the plan. Because the amount of really cool content coming out using the face over IP is, it's pretty impressive. Okay, so it's a minute and 13 seconds. Oh my god. Are we allowed to talk during this or not? No. So when a man comes round, I, Buster, that, I encourage you with a really big that, gun. That image that was just there was the, the cover of. I'm gonna point him in the right the direction. Most people don't associate ladies thing. like us with salvage, do they, Shell? Five thousand right points to Buster. On a desolate <laughs> desert, moon, where it is every man for himself. Even though we're not supposed to be talking right now. <laughs> a stranger will undertake a journey. <laughs> And he's bringing all hell with him. Run! Run! 
The Man From Nowhere, a new episode in the Star Citizen cinematic series, Hard Space. <laughs> so how many have you watched? I haven't seen any of them except for this one. So just I haven't six. either. Yeah, I haven't either. So <laughs> but it was I can't really wait good. To start watching them. The, the yes. thing is, though, like normally with these episodes, the people get better at doing them as they go. So <laughs> it's hard to watch the sixth one and then go back and watch the first one. If you know what I mean. So. Well, okay. So Spectre brings up a good point. Is it, I think uh, the 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 FOP the face over IP is so cringy. I don't think it's that bad. It's... What do you guys think? It's still Uncanny Valley. Yeah, I think but... it's overexpressive, but I think that's really cool. Yeah. But I think they it did a good job of, of making it uh, of making it kind of a parody in a way or, or making fun of it. And I think that's what you have to do right now if you're doing any kind of cinematic stuff. Otherwise, it's... But it's it great cinematics, bit... right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I do like it when people do like some impressive work like that in the game you know what's your favorite so far i mean do you have one no not really really. i mean i i've i like to mess with foip like every time a new patch comes out i always like i always take time to play off stream so i can use my camera for foip um what camera do you have uh the logitech c920 okay okay so there's a lot of people said that doesn't work and i've actually heard so so huh. doc have you tried yours because you got a 920 right yeah it it doesn't work for me all i get is the gray screen what do you got stim it, it could be your lighting though dr murray um so <laughs> have you so tried it i i honestly haven't tried foip so but i've got a video camera that i'm using so i've so. got the i've got the logitech brio and it works brilliant so the brio is supposed I'm to be the best curious. one yeah it works so. really well with the brio so I, i'm kind of more curious of I think it's one of those things where once they nail it down or maybe they come out with a star citizen camera, that would be epic. Yeah. Uh, either way, I think it's going to come a long way. But I mean, think about all that you can do with that from as a as a designer or a streamer or a video maker. I mean, God, that's yeah. freaking possibilities are endless. So much I mean, you can have so much fun with that. Yeah. So I, I'm not one of those people. I just shoot people. One of the things they said was that <laughs> or the, drink, watching people get shot. <laughs> one of the things they were saying is that 30 frames per second will perform okay, but you really want 60 frames per second. And the the Logitech series below the Brio is all at if you're uh, if you're recording at 1080, then you're running at six at 30 frames per second. You have to drop your frame rate to or your resolution to 720 to get 60 frames per second with those cameras. Unless, unless okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just I like I would like it to work. I have I have like my own plans for the future as far as when the voice oh. is better off. Top secret. Oh. oh no, you can't do that. Oh. <laughs> what do you do? No, we want to know. What are your now plans? We wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a hint? Type in chat yeah, if you want to know. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Uh, I'll give everyone a hint. Do you know? Uh you know, expect expect a spectacle. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's a trip over words. Is, yeah, are you, you going to use glasses over over or a again. monocle? Or? <laughs> no, it's gonna it's it's gonna be its own thing. I think I think most people like when it starts to happen, it'll be like it, it'll be. I hope it's like I don't know. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to give away. <laughs> Damn it! No, he's so close. We almost had her. <laughs> really oh. there. Hey, hey we'll Specter. Hey, Specter. <laughs> Spectre. Well, thanks, Pix, thanks Pix, Pixel, for doing that. Sub. Thanks, Pix. Very nice. Super, super, super tuck secret. Yes, that's right. No, very cool. We hope to hear about it soon. Or, you know, if you're not going to... It's, it's right. going to definitely take time. It's probably going to be like a whole year's worth of planning. Ooh. Now I feel like I need Very to cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, talk I, can to maybe us. Tell, I can tell I can tell you guys like off stream. Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So expect next show to understand what she's about. Don't tell anybody. We would never tell anyone. You're going to talk to us about us or show us off stream? I mean, I'm not sure what. (laughs) I'm telling everybody everything. She's going to show us off stream. Oh, well, there goes the show. (laughs) Oh, dear. Okay, well, then what Uh, happened next in the week on Friday is we uh, we had a roadmap update. So as we always do, we grab... We grab the one that really kind of tells us what happened 
throughout the week. Um, and this is really good. Basically, to give you uh, the, the Coles Notes of it, for those who understand what Coles Notes are, and I know I'm dating myself right now, but tons of stuff <laughs> got finished this week. Uh, you can see that everything with a, with a check mark with a 100% next to it got finished off. So rest stop uh, and space station exterior got finished off. Uh, the P-72 and the P-52, so the ships we just saw got finished off. And the weapons got finished off, which is very cool. Um, and mm-hmm. there was a lot of progress done um, on uh, the the black market economy. It had some good progress. That's eighty one percent, and uh-huh. the weapon attachments also um, are coming along there at sixty percent. Law system got a little bit, but it's nearly done anyway. So that's coming along nicely. Um, and then the only things which they still need to really put a lot of time into are the distribution and ec- ecosystem improvements, as well as the shield. Uh, systems tech replacement so that's coming along <clears throat> but they need those two they need to get on those two but they uh some of the streamers out there are saying hey the few hey, welcome the everybody few. <laughs> thanks for joining us <laughs> right on a few i feel like there's a no. big old bunch of bobs going on <laughs> <laughs> so if you're just joining us now coming in from the fuse channel uh we have uh, bust of the destroyer Buster the Destroyer uh, on as a special guest tonight, and we're going to do a little interview with her later on. And for right now, uh, we're just kind of going through the week's content and talking about what happened. Right now, we've got the roadmap update up and just talking about what progress was made this last week. And there might be a giveaway later. Oh, Uh -oh. is that right? Have you checked the kitty and there might be something in there? The kitty? Well, I didn't look in her. Well, never mind. (laughs) There might be. (laughs) <laughs> there might Ew. be a good one later. Ew, gross. I'm thinking there will be. Anyway, good to say thank you. Awesome to awesome to see you guys. Yeah, uh, welcome guys. You guys. So, so we, yeah, roadmap. So we didn't get any progress on our 890 jump, which would have been awesome. Uh but instead But I think we know it's gonna make it. Yeah, and they gotta focus on other things right now. Uh, but we got a little bit of progress on ship rentals and then and then also the interior variants. They made a little bit of progress on that for 3.7. And then, hey, thanks for the follow, they, George. Hey, George. Woo! Don't mind us. <laughs> we, we always talk over each other because we're a bunch of children. That's right. That are excited about spaceships. So mm, it's just drinking a show. underage. Oh yes, yes. Anyway, go on. <laughs> Sorry, Nuba Fire is following us. Hey, new. Hey, Welcome. New delicious. What's thanks up, for watching. Buddy? Good to see you, brother. I, if you haven't seen, guys, if you haven't seen Nuba Fire's. Uh, coverage of star citizen live go check it out because i tell you he covers it in under two minutes and uh that show is best covered in under two minutes <laughs> <laughs> great great one noob i love your shows man <laughs> watch watch them every week Proper. All right. <laughs> okay so, all here. so that's the roadmap uh after that uh, we're not really supposed to give reveals on on stuff that's happening, and this happened last week. But last week we had so much to talk about. Uh, hey, Jack Porkins, thanks for following, man. Uh, yes. We, we had we had so much last week that we had to talk about because we had pillar talk. That this week I just wanted to show you that if you're not a subscriber, the subscriber vault gets regular updates, uh, and this is one picture uh, that's on Microtech, <laughs> and it's talking about the high tech. Uh, landing pads and landing zones. So that's what was updated to the subscriber vault. So kind of a sneak peek there if, you, if you're a subscriber. It's pretty Little cool. sneak peek. Sneaky, sneaky peek. Yeah, cool stuff that's coming down the pipe. There. All right. <laughs> then, sorry about the bright lights. We ah. moved on to... Ah. <laughs> bright light, bright light. <laughs> so so uh, Nubifier's timing is perfect. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Because here we have the Star Citizen Live. And um, did did you guys all watch it, first of all? Of course. No. <laughs> no. I mean, of course he did. No. Yes. No. Okay. Well, so what, what they lie. did was they basically <laughs> did dressing the scene. And so they, they made a crime scene in a back alley. Which um, was pretty cool. Did you watch the whole thing? I, wa- I, I literally watched 90% of it. Did you? Okay. Because I thought it might be fun. To... I figuratively lot. Okay. What would be, no, what would be fun is if T-Neister actually ran this for us on one of our Saturday night raids. 
I thought it might be fun if if we redid. Oh no! What are you doing? Scene. He's drawing. Well, He's this, drawing. This is a this is an alley. Okay, and there's like a brick wall in the back. I feel like just graphic designers on the world are screaming in horror as right? we freaking watch it. <laughs> it's a brick wall. Okay. Okay. Those are some big bricks. Can we? They're, can they're we big get bricks. Some... And then, and can then, we get chat? Can we bring chat up? Because we need to bring chat up. There's, to be able there's, to... a, there's a dead guy. We... Yeah. Uh -huh. On the ground. Oh, that's a beefy man. Wow. My God, what happens to his legs? <laughs> what the? Jesus, is well, this I think Gumby? I know how he died. It's Gumby. <laughs> yeah, he turned into Gumby. <laughs> right. <laughs> dead guy on the ground. And then he had a gun. He just ripped. Uh, oh, his gun's red because he's evil. He's bad. Yeah. So it's instantly red. It's well, we don't know <laughs> who did it. Good? We don't know who did it, but they, they they did little flags for to uh -huh. mark where all the all the bullet bullet casings were. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They were they were all over the place. I'm gonna go with he got shot with his legs like that. But, no, but he we, got crushed. But, but we don't know. <laughs> we got ran We don't over. know who shot him. And then there was a uh -huh. couple of What's holes the of the brick wall up there with some tape running between them. Does anyone have any idea right. where he's going with this? The, the no. tape says stay out. <laughs> it doesn't and say stay out. It says line, and, line, 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 and that's, line. And that's your crime scene, guys. Uh-huh. Yeah. In okay. Un under Great. two minutes. <laughs> so I, I can do it, too. <laughs> oh, the shot. Shit. You see it? It was fired. Oh. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> You know the best part about right. that, though? Rex no is the Hey, Rexilla. <laughs> Thanks Sean for joining Murray. us, man. No bullshit. Sean Murray. Yeah, new, new Sean says Murray. no bullshit. Yep, no bullshit. I love Jared. I have an emote of Jared. Here, look. He, it's called oh, no. Logo. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> Here I love him. Go. There's Jared. Jared, in case you didn't he, know. He's giving you the There's... stare. There's no accounting yeah, for he's taste. So beautiful. He's giving you the stare. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, John right, Wolf Rex. Is Tom Rexilla. Very nice. nice. One. Very nice. Very nice. Thank so, you, gentlemen. So, guys, for the, for those of you in the channel, you've probably heard of Rexilla, but if you if you haven't, you haven't checked out his show. My God, uh, he does, get on your freaking he, Twitch. He does an amazing, <laughs> amazing show. Focuses on uh, FPS. <laughs> Uh, Can I have a moment here? No signal. I, I fixed it. Yeah, yeah, I fixed no it. It's coming together. Okay. There we go. Just let me give patience, you the bits patience. on. Okay, all the people that ask you, what does Star Citizen, what, what do you do in Star Citizen? What do you, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to, just mm, go watch Rex's good stream. Point. Yeah, yeah. You go watch Rex's stream, enough said. Rex does all the yeah. epic stuff that everyone wishes they could do right now, but we're going to be yeah. doing that in the P, in the, in the natural universe yeah. anyway. So and, and he you want to see what's possible? He does it daily, so you can drop in whenever you have yeah. time and just watch it, and, and it's always high One energy. One of the best streamers to watch to just awesome. get in and just see what's possible. So yes, yeah, yeah. high Highly encouraged. Rex, thanks for showing up, buddy. Yeah. I still owe you some uh, bourbon, I believe. I think as soon as you put in your Doseki. Uh oh. How long's Charon been in there? A little bit. A little bit. Nice. Anyway. So, uh, so it's, Jordan couldn't make it uh, tonight, so he's he uh, he had is. some stuff, but he's uh, coming in and, and texting with us, which is nice. Hey, okay. Thanks for the follow. Liver. 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 Uh, let's just call him Liverpool because that's my yeah. favorite team. Liverpool? It's a good the, save. The Liver, really good save. The Liver building is in Liverpool. Shut the ship high. There should be a team called Luke and Bach. Luke and Bach? <laughs> yeah. That's Texas? Yeah. Ooh, okay. I'll you get know, it. Where nobody that. feels no pain. Oh, shit. <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> Liver. Cool is what I, I that's why I like them because I have I need a spare liver, but yeah, Luke and Bach, that's good. I like that. Great song. So, who sang it? Uh, Waylon, that Waylon Jennings, of course. Thank there we go. you. From Texas, <laughs> that. I was gonna hope you didn't trip over that. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? All right, so uh, coming up next, we have uh, on Tuesday. We get our um, our lore piece, which is part two of the last job. So I I didn't read the first one, so I didn't go ahead and read the second one. Did anyone in chat read this lore post? 
Hurry up. Be honest. Be honest. Three, two, one. We need to put the chat back up. Yeah, and, and chat. yeah, I'll put the chat up. And then tell us what you think of it as well. Unhide. Let's do that. <laughs> Jordan says he's been to Loonbach, Texas twice. Yep. That's all the lore we need right now. <laughs> I I'm think I've been there a couple of times. Read that one, and I, I am a victim. I have not read that. One, to be honest, I kind of had a busy week, <clears throat> but yeah. we we, we aced our thing. So yeah, even the new fire didn't read it. So I'm pretty sure. Let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> totally agreed. Okay, yes. so next next on the docket, uh, we are talking about Citizen Con tickets. There we go. <laughs> we right. who's going? I'm going. Can't wait. You better be going. Oh, that's fantastic. Better. Doc better be going. Doc, you going? I can't go. Uh, Seriously? Yeah, Buster, you are you going? Because if you're going, Doc has to go. Uh, yeah. Because you have I like a like thing to, going. Now. But I don't uh, think it's going to happen. It depends. It depends on life and things. I, I have to, I think, I'm going to go to TwitchCon think, for sure. But I think what we'll do is maybe we'll do a Yacht Club house. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd I'd I love to do Stim, that. I think yeah. Stim can organize this. I'll I'll, I'll fund him to do it. Uh, and he'll find All right, a we'll house. put it together. Yeah, Stim's like great. Another thing for me to organize for if yacht you're pay, club. Yeah, right? If, if you're paying, I'll make it happen. <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna check, it's fine. I mean, yacht club house. This sounds like a this sounds like a thing. That, that would be fun. I feel like people would want to be in there. That would be fun. Anyone? Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone in the chat want to go to the yacht club? Yeah, we should just rent a yacht. I was about to say, why don't y'all just get like a houseboat? I'm on a boat. <laughs> yeah, well, no, because we're in Manchester. Trust me, you don't want a boat in November. You don't want a boat in no. November in Manchester. No, exactly. <laughs> Stay off the boats. You don't really want a boat in Manchester. <laughs> you don't want a boat in Manchester at all, ever. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just say it's a boat. <laughs> so what time all are you right. going to you gonna buy tickets, Shadow? <clears throat> You're I key up am for actually the... volunteering, so oh, so you don't have I, right. I got I got my super secret email. Maybe I may have not, or may have got my email today about the volunteer. Maybe super secret. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So there you go. I shouldn't have to get a ticket. Well, I'll be lining up with the, what about you, Stim? All the other plebs <laughs> at eighteen hundred UTC, which is mm-hmm. noon, my time and Pacific noon time. What? Uh, Pacific time, the right? Time that nobody's in. So, other than the three other people, uh, I, I, I kind of want to tell you that eighteen hundred is eleven o'clock Pacific time. But then okay. I kind of oh, want you to shit. not be competing well, there's, against there's, me. No, no, no. I appreciate that. That's the whole daylight savings thing. So, yeah. Nice. So eleven a.m. Yeah. What? What if now? What if I get your ticket? Like I log in right before you, I win the F five war, and I steal your ticket. He's not getting a ticket. Oh, okay. I might. Oh, you might. You might. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> Doc will buy a ticket and then not go just so you can. Oh snap! <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of the way you. Doc, <laughs> if 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 I got one and you didn't, I would try and find a way to sneak you in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't sneak something with a beard that big in. <laughs> you can't put it in that. Po- you can't put your pocket, man. We can make it happen. I could just. We can make it I could just sit on his shoulders and put my beard down and look like hair. <clears throat> That's true. I totally could do that. Like lean back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm certainly looking forward to meeting a lot of new people that I didn't meet in Austin because uh, my first citizen con was Austin. Finally. So, yeah, Buster, have you ever been to this con? No, I was actually fairly new to the the Star Citizen Twitch community. Like, I right when Citizen Con happened, and my boyfriend and I had talked about it a couple months before. Like, we we're like, ah, you know, Austin's full of hippies anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no opinions on this show at all. <laughs> Austin, Austin was a great time. Yeah, I wish I had gone. Like in the like, you know, 2020. So uh, hindsight's always 2020, and I really wish I had just went and gone for at least a day, even if I just went by myself. Um, yeah, I just okay. eh, my boyfriend and I seem to have real trouble when one of us is in Austin and the other one is not usually me being in Austin. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Austin, but he like freaks out. Like he calls me, he's like, "What's going?" On? I'm like, dude, I my phone. Like, I put my phone in it's my bag. It died. It died. I swear to God, I I I'm slipped sorry. on a curb. 
I was well, I, 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 I lived in Austin for like three months at one point. <laughs> so I have opinions. Why is he upside down? <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal cosmic power. Oh my god. No, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix just, his chroma key. Okay. So just tell your boyfriend that you slipped on a curb. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I found, is it turns I found out a I cake slipped on a curb. curb. I found you didn't really slip on a curb in Austin. Wait, wait, wait. It's you called did street what? cake. We call it street cake. Me and my, one of my boys. <laughs> did did I get caked? Is that the thing? No, I slipped I just, on a I curb found, and I broke my ankle in four places. Cake. It was really awesome. Maybe I got caked. I didn't get to taste the cake. That's all I gotta say. I feel rock. <laughs> what you were tasting was the ground. <laughs> my goodness. You were just chaos, myself. Shadow Gun. I caught myself a little bit. <laughs> You're chaos. <laughs> oh. I, was, I was drunk enough to not have the reaction time that I normally have. <laughs> so, no, I'm so just, he just I'm fell. I'm pretty sure if you were drunk more, you actually would have had a better reaction. <laughs> I was on the ground before I knew it. But no, that's all you have to say is I slipped on a curve. Because as it turns out, Zylo, if he does join us, slipped on a something and he broke his ankle just the way i did it just took a lot either what, way what are the odds of two of you tripped on a go. on a curb i know and broke probably the I, feel like curb. We're, I feel like we're brothers now right <laughs> i feel like xylo and i are a long lost brothers saying he's not here anyway. so who else is going to citizen con yeah it's so hype 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 who's going to in chat, 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 chat. Who's going to Citizen Con? Who's John, going are you going? going to Citizen Con? Your mom's going to My mom might go to Citizen Con. That's the scary part. <laughs> <laughs> I told her I was going to Manchester. She's like, I always want to go to the England. I'm like, Mom, we're not going. <laughs> oh, oh John, come on, man, we John. Wish, Wolf, we wish seriously? you could come, man. It'd be a great time. John, Wolf, you'd be one guy I actually want to. I'd like to buy you a beer. <laughs> Phew, a awesome, man. That's that says how cheap you are. Oh, the good few's to see you going. Again. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I'll right see you there, You'll man. have to buy a wine for the few. Okay, a wine. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yes, that's right. He likes uh, a red, a fine red, or a fine white. <laughs> we sound like we're Pinot Noir. He's a fan of Malbec's. He likes Pinot. Oh, okay. There we go. Malbec <laughs> is my favorite as well. Malbec for the win. I did actually go to Austin to hang out with a few once and uh, I met up with Astro Pub and a couple of CIG people and we went bowling so I have met the few. Oh, very cool. I brought cool. him cookies. I brought him cookies. There you go. Oh, holy shit. Oh. Now I want your cookie. I mean, I want to have, try your cookies that you Terrible. make. There it is. Terrible. I got it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Why we're on after eleven is o'clock. This, <laughs> is this a good segue? Uh, is this a good segue for your topic of the week, Buster? That you wanted to go over? You think so? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go over some topics, um, but the first one that we have before we start getting into an interview with Buster is talking about uh, something that happened to her this week. And uh, Buster, why don't you take it away? Yeah, uh, so this week, I, like I said before, I was on the captain's table. Um, I had brought up an old question that I had asked very many months ago on the captain's table because um, this was my first time on the captain's table, but it was a question I had asked months ago, which was, how do you think CIG could attract more female players? Uh, female mm. players, last we checked, make up less than 10% of the player base. And I essentially expressed that it would be nice if they – know just included the female model highlighted a little more in content material in, in uh, pardon me not content but like marketing material in the future like their you know their ads that they do their trailers i mean i know and then before everybody tells me oh well they have they have that old cutlass commercial and then i just did this origin <laughs> commercial okay i knew about the cutlass commercial from years ago but i'm sorry that's not as relevant when you didn't have a female model at the time Available okay, so the question with that is, uh, so what do you think about the 300 or the origin love? I love that. Love? I love, yeah. love, Thank love. you. Yeah, I thought so it was beautiful, and it wasn't like, <clears throat> like, it, it wasn't like they were like blatantly like, look, girls, buy a ship. Well, it was like, yeah, like it, was, cheesy. it was a cool, it was I think it's commercial well that appeals to anyone, yeah. right? But I yeah. do think it I had agree. a feminine tone to it, and I liked that. Totally. But um, but essentially, like I said, and at the time that we talk about this, I wasn't aware of that origin commercial. I did not realize that had come out on, you know, mm -hmm. by the time we talked about Saturday. But essentially, um, I had just expressed it would be nice if they, you know, put a little bit more in the marketing material for women, even the merchandise, physical merchandise in the store. It would be really nice if there was like some less masculine 
I mean, there was like some pieces that weren't so masculine. Like I think a lot of the shirts and things they have, I mean, I would wear them. I like them anyway. I'm not really, I, I wear men's shirts too. You know what I mean? But it would be nice. There's like a star <laughs> you know city I mean? shirt. I wear women's or shirts. So, like, well, or a bag. Yeah. If there was like a cute like star <laughs> citizen, like logo bag, whatever. But just that's all I really said was it would be nice if there was a little bit more effort from CIG to to get more uh, females in the game. So, so what would that look like? Game. I mean, like, you know, like, like, I, like I have a I, couple of friends. Idea, my idea at the time was like, you know, think of like the general Patton, like the movie Patton. Remember that scene where he's in front of the American flag and he's like hollering at you about being American, yada, yada. How cool would that be if like you had get like your ass kind of, in game, like a UEE banner <laughs> from behind a female it's pink. Like, character saying something, you know, along those lines but anyway the important part of all this isn't no so much what i talked about it's how some people reacted to it in the comments on youtube uh, apparently paul shelley who you know is the wonderful astro pub he had to go through the, the youtube comments and delete some pretty nasty comments that apparently made very personal attacks against me um and not to mention there was at least uh, he he tweeted about it on twitter um about he said something along the line i don't know what's more effed up the fact that i've literally said inclusion matters before and nobody bats an eyelash but M buster says the same thing and people feel the need to make personal attacks against our star citizen community you can do better and uh, a few things that were a bit i did not know about star citizen community in the past which i don't really want to discuss it's some really gross stuff uh, as far as <laughs> You know, well, like you're adding, in the adding valley mechanic, of trolls now. <laughs> add, adding, adding like <laughs> in the past, apparently, like there's been some people in the community that thought it would be like a good idea to add uh, mechanics in which you could assault somebody um, sexually because, you know, criminals are all awful. Uh. So we should be able to play awful criminals. So I was, I was, I was, but that's not important. The important thing is, is, uh, like I said, I was attacked because I'm a woman with an opinion. So um not like per you know not that anybody too many people came at me but like one guy in, on twitter in particular was like oh we don't need more sjw trash <laughs> blah, blah, blah. get a brain you stupid <laughs> they're, blah, just blah, 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 blah. they're just jealous they're just jealous, jealous because Fuck their em. lack of girlfriend isn't hot like me um, <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's a whole lot lack, lack of, of something lack else. Of. Um, <laughs> but, but, anyway. but what I have to say, you know, I've talked about. Yeah, it's a very, it's a small yeah. segment. The problem is they right? happen to be a loud segment, right? And Cezanne Star said it well. And that's a rule of large numbers. You're going to end up with people that are like yeah. that. So, um, yeah. My, you know, my my sister is an, is an orthopedic surgeon, and mm -hmm. when she went into orthopedic surgery, it was a a man's world. Like it's you need to be heavy. You know, if you're working on hips, like the doctors actually get up on top of the table during the surgery, get right up on Work top of the hip. patient and, and Work have to push hip. down. So there's actually a weight factor to it as well. I'm listening, but I'm going to grab something real yeah. fast. So, oh no, she's so, going to work on her hips. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you end up, you end up having a, uh, you know, a, a male dominated, um, uh, workforce there, partly because it's, extremely uh rugged and and partly because women aren't attracted to it and then the last part is because you know if women join the boys club they have to have a thick skin they have to be prepared to take a lot of crap to get right. through it right and and they shouldn't have to but that's unfortunately the reality because if you look at the numbers, like Suzanne Starr said, like Ed said, you know, you're going to end up having those that are threatened by yeah. you, uh, et cetera, right. and are just vocal about it. I mean, you know, come at me, bro. Come at me. And yeah. but, but basically, <laughs> uh, this is the point she I want to make. She is most of the destroyer, by the way. You see this money right here, everybody? You see this money? <laughs> you see this money? It's you're going to donate it for ships? It's good as yours. <laughs> okay, if I handed you money... And I said, you know, would you throw it back at me because I was a woman handing you money? No, you wouldn't. So shut up. My money is just as good as any other. Like, not you guys personally. Don't shut up. But, but like, don't Come don't sit there me, and bro. tell me. Don't tell me that you know, like, I'm an SJW simply because I'm saying it would be nice if if CIG tapped into a market that they are weak in. They have. I don't weak, accept currency from women. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, but I, I'm sorry, you know, like it, it, I'm not really sorry at all. But you know, it, it's a, it's definitely like when you're less than your player well, base, it's in person. Or, what's or the market you're player. talking about? Like, like I mean, women, like what women. specifically could they do? Like, what could they women. do? I mean, like I said earlier, I mean, maybe, maybe they, they don't have a to... strong women's opinion. 
Well, I, mean, I know just... that there are some wonderful female employees at CIG who I have met a couple of them and they're wonderful, wonderful, amazing ladies. And I, mm-hmm. I support them a hundred percent, but it's, a, and it's not about like what CIG, like what their, their quote. Let's quote just talk about companies in general, like cool companies in general. Like what can right. they do? Like um, what makes it better? Because it's not, it better, it's not um, people that, it's not the people that have the voice that are the Actually, well, as far as product, because I'm not talking about CIG as a company and what their like what their 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 proportion is as a company. Um, what mm-hmm. I'm talking about is their player base. Their player base, if they want to get more women into this game, uh, I do think there's a lot of features and, and mechanics that would come into the game in in like in later iterations and patches like? that, uh, you know, like just more social types of gameplay, maybe. Maybe mechanics like being able to, I don't know, just more socialization type of mechanics. I, I can't really, I mean, look at the Sims. Like we talked about that in, in Captain's Table. Like Sims has probably one of the highest female player bases it's because there's a lot of customization and personalization. It's because um, they're shopping. Female character, right? Yeah. And, and it's, it's fine. They're like, shopping. <laughs> there's there's things to do. Yeah. And like, look at the female model right now. Look at the female model right now. Like the female yeah. model has a very limited amount of clothing you can buy for it. I mean, it can wear, you know, the female model can wear all the freaking armor pretty much in the game, but like clothing needs, and that's something that's going to get fixed. I know that they're so working it's on uniqueness. it. It's uniqueness. It's yeah, unique. I think in saying, I, exactly. It, like being able to be unique. Saying this is a female only thing. This is no, something I, I can buy everybody. and it has a male and female version. Is that what you're I, saying? I, yeah, well, I don't, I don't really care what they make female male version. I just think that right. there needs to be more options available as far mm. as that part of the game goes. Um, like I said, there's going to be probably some more socialized types of gameplay in the future. Um, you know, I think at some point there's going to be the ability to like create bases or buildings, like maybe stake land claims. I think there yep. will be women who would be far more interested in just kind of like having a little farm or just doing a thing. Maybe they don't want to play like, you know, tons of gameplay. They want to do a lot more simming. Really matter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Simming. And that's fine. It, it's not I'm saying it has to become Sims, but at the same time, like, I don't understand how fragile of a man you must be that the idea of, <laughs> of CIG making an effort, any kind of effort to attract more female players is a threat to you and your manhood. You were never a man yeah. to begin with, if that's the case. Yeah, um, I don't think it's that. I think it's just, they're yeah. just not gotten to it yet i mean that, it's, no and i i well, totally yeah. agree like it's, it's but it's a great point. it's a very big there's a very big differential between male and female gamers in general and right. a lot of it has to do yeah. with a toxic environment for women but well it's, it's toxic yes. in general if women yeah i mean yeah it's toxic <laughs> it's far more toxic towards women than it is towards you and i and that's that's yeah. that's mm-hmm. gaming overall right like that's just that's just the gaming right. world overall yeah d-bags um, hiding behind their internet connection yeah, I mean, yeah, I, exactly. I play Xbox with exactly. a couple of girls. And like, come I, to my house I've and say that to my face, because I'll tell you right now, I I wrestled the varsity in high school, honey. I don't, I don't, I don't mess around. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not the kind of person. But, you know, it's... They're it's the just, best. It's just sad that, like, literally, like, a male a male content creator like Astro Pub can say literally the exact same thing I've been saying, and he doesn't get any flack for it, yet I get, like, personal attacks and whatnot. I'm not scared. I'm not. Nobody's going to shut this heifer up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, Does he not this show? My and God, pour another one. You'll be. I guess. Right I guess. In with... conclusion, <laughs> we might fight that. any fight with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like the game just as much as anybody. My money is just as good as yours to be spending in the game. And... Well, no, we're all in this together. I mean. It... Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm Race just making Creek, my point. Color, of... Freaking, I mean, it doesn't yeah. matter. So, but no, but what I would like, what we were saying is, is a great point. Is is what? Well, do you want specific? I mean, and I'm asking you as a female. Do you want something that's different, like only a female can wear or only a male can wear? Is that is that what's more important, or is it? Because I'm actually, as a developer, as a game developer, interested right. in what really what really drives the difference, or is it anyone can wear those things, or is it things uh, you wear, or is it status? I mean, is it? I I like fancy pretty things in real life. Um, Ilo would, Ilo would well, love fancy say, pretty I things like in games. Things. I, I would like, I mean, personally, I would, I, I, I don't believe in like, I, I get that Star Citizen's trying to be pretty gender neutral when it comes to items that you can have in the game. And I think that's appropriate, but at the same, because like, I don't care. Like, what was the first episode of Star Trek Next Generation? Some dude walks by in a skirt. Like, I don't care. I really don't care what you wear. <laughs> Only what? thing I care I about is tartan. what I wear. It's called a kilt. <laughs> and, anyway. <laughs> and so it's, dark. 
And John, will, I, will, I will, I will Damn help right. Rex. I am, I'm kind of the, the premier fashionista of the verse. So let me know. But, okay. There you but go. Like, but yeah, that's the thing is like, sure. Like it would be cool. Like I would like to have a dress in the game. That's like one of my yeah. biggest things. I as agree. an item like that I can have mm -hmm. wearable. I would really love a dress. I would love a couple. I would love more than one dress. I would love a bunch of them. Right. Designed well and with with a lot of good thought and intention put behind them, but I mean, wouldn't it be cool if you could actually design your own? That would be. Fun. I also want a dress. Oh wow! Yeah, I mean, that sprint I, I, If I could design my own dress, I actually. Jordan that would be going off the hook right now, about. talking about you know creating things like in Second Life. He already is. <laughs> he already is. If you look at Chad, he already is. <laughs> oh my god! I want to create no, my own dress too. So, no, that's 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 yeah. that's good to know because I mean. It's like you, you you get into video games and it's a different thing. It's like you know, there's male, there's female. Is there really? It's just a screen name to me at that point because yeah. I treat everyone the same. I mean, that's yeah. just me. But I mean, what makes it different for you? Because I'm not you and you're not me. So yeah, I, I mean, that's a great. It's good to hear that it yeah. doesn't really matter that it's you know, it's pretty things or it's different things. I mean, I might be pretty or I might be oh I'm a fucking man. But either way, you know, right? Thing. It's and, you know, most of the people using the female model in the game are probably dudes. And I'm sure a lot of them uh, yes, would like to make their... men online their... playing role-playing games. Well, especially yes. right yeah. now because the female character is is a brand new like, thing, right? Especially it looks now. Spectre, right. eh? It looks... Right. Spectre. Yeah, so do you like Spectre? Do you, do you Spectre. like the female character model? Do you think it's oh, pretty I good? Oh, I love her. I love her I very think it's much. really good. I think, I think, I I think it's yeah. well thought out. I think I love yeah. the fact that they ended up making a different skeleton for her. Yeah, um, I think that, mm -hmm. like, because most games, they just copy the skeleton and they have the character move the exact same way. The amount of thought and love that they put into making her unique to being a woman is, like, it almost, it, like, almost made me cry when I first saw her walk. Because I'm yeah, like, it I did. Look yeah, like it was. Yeah. Like very, yeah. <laughs> it's like, awesome. It was on I've never, point. I've never played a game where I felt like I'm the, not... the female character that what like that I could play. Because usually, like the NPCs, like they'll cause sometimes they'll tweak their NPCs. Like, oh, they'll have a real seductive like nightclub walk for a lady. NPC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's they just won't a have walk. that it's like same model. the player character because the player character is the same model as the male yeah. character, just with different yeah, that's proportions. A great point. And, and so it, I do I, think I, that they they go to great effort to to make sure that the, the female model is unique from yeah. the male model. And, and they did a great job not uh, overly sexualizing like, <gasps> with, yes. with big boobs and big bum or, yeah, or you know, I've endowment seen, sliders <laughs> everywhere. You know, they've done a great so job of like, centralizing. He went there yeah. Yeah. and now we're there. <laughs> I, I, I see so many people make those kind yeah, of comments yeah, like, yeah, oh, give me, give me a, give me a boob slider. Give me, yeah. let, let me, let me right. do that. You shouldn't have to do that. I was talking and, to a buddy you know last what? week. Go, go oh, ahead, go Buster. Ahead. I was going to say, yeah, I was just, you know, I, you, you can't choose your proportions in real life. I don't expect it to be true in a video game. Right. But at the same time, I get where people want to have the different body types. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of a body type, like, oh, well, you know, I want to play a shorter girl who's a little bit curvier. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong, but, but like, I'm sorry, but I just think, I think like things like a, 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 a breast slider or all that can, can really be. I, I I mean, it would be everybody in the verse would have like size G's, you know. Well, <laughs> no, not, not, not necessarily, really and and it could That's be part true. of the it could be part of the DNA system as well. It's like you you're know? carrying around like, two caterpillars, you know, to, oh, to yeah, kind of cool. mix and match things. That would be kind of neat. I know but, plenty you know, of dudes that role play small boobed girls. So. Oh yeah, but you know what I mean. It's because like, they don't want to give away that they're dudes. They actually, I wanna, guess. No, they, they take a lot of pride in their character. They're like, look at look at how good she good. looks. I spent so much well, time making this character. Like that, right? I'm like, like eh. what would we I still think it's weird. A pair of J's, or what'd you say? <laughs> G's. J's. Like G's. G's. That's Dragging like, on the like ground. G stands for crown. That's like starfares on your chest. No, J's are the biggest you can go. I hate to say this, but but that's my cup. So, yeah. Oh Lord! Geez. So what's it like? Yeah. You're like carting yeah. around a pair of starfarers, aren't you? Back pain much? <laughs> uh, actually, this is Do you know fun. how much work this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot yeah. of work, and yeah. uh, I, I think I always tell people when I see make those comments, I'm like, if you knew how hard life is, you wouldn't right. make these. Comments I move all the too time. fast. <laughs> Planets realign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I was talking to a, to a, a buddy last week and he was basically going on about how a lot of women really like to create those characters. They like to create those, mm -hmm. um, 
the, the busty characters or the, the the character that's different, right? It's an escape. When you're playing a game, part of it is for yeah. for escaping, and so you want to create a character that either you couldn't be or that you want to be, or that you, just something you different like. that, that you want to role play. Yeah, that you want to role yeah, play. Yeah, you feel and, like that person, you know. And, and I think if if any company is going to be able to broach these boundaries, it's going to be CIG. Like, I, I could see from a fidelity standpoint, I could see them totally saying, you are. know what, makeup, here it is. We've, we've, yeah, they we've, already we've, are. You know, makeup well, would be fun. I, I could see it happening. I mean, I... I, I, I Speaking of... It probably won't, but it could happen. Why am yeah, I? Losing? Are you looking for makeup? No. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I, I want to darken myself up a little bit so I don't look like a zombie. <laughs> well, you can do that with the anatomy. Well, we can do more. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. I mean, Thinking black all together. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, you, use, you shouldn't use makeup to make yourself look darker. Yeah. There's uh, just start blending. But I, I could totally see makeup in, in Star Citizen, right? And and. You know, it could be for women and dudes, like, and yeah. questioning and whatever. Like, Star Citizen, I think it's going to go there. Um, yeah. I, I kind of jest about the makeup, but I would not be surprised. I really wouldn't. Yeah, it's like, be I what you want to be. I can't see how much Stim wants. Stim, Stim wears his makeup. <laughs> well, no, you, you have really tattoos, right? Like they talk about tattoos and scars and, you know, you've got ship jackers that are getting uh, different mechanical things. I mean, people will do, like, guys will do mechanical things around their faces and eyes and stuff like that to make mm -hmm. themselves look more intimidating if you're a ship jack or yeah. what have you. You know, put so, a little, put a little oh, right, mascara right, on right. Mm -hmm. or whatever, or not mascara, but eyeliner just to give them that edge or put, right. you know, like, I mean, think of like, I mean, I, I, he's a terrible example of a human being, but, um, what's the, uh, <laughs> wow, what's snap that? shots fired. Or, no, not you. Uh, or what's orange clockwork orange. orange. I mean, that character, no, that I, don't character care. Alex, just, I didn't even know you were talking about it. It was just like, Alex, oh, Alex from it. A Clockwork Orange. I mean, think of that character. He has like that that eyeliner around mm -hmm. his eye, and that's that's an iconic makeup. <clears throat> that is one of the yeah, most totally. iconic right? like makeup looks ever, and it was worn by a dude, and it looked fantastic. Now the character mm. is awful, awful, awful human being. That's kind of the point of that movie. <laughs> I, I always emphasize with the character. Mm. I don't know. I have no comment on that. <laughs> all right uh, should we should we move on to the next topic Are we done with that one no that let's just I'm, sit here for the it. next 12 minutes doing nothing just i just want to say one thing if you have oh, anything mean to say to me about my opinions because i'm a lady then no get the hell out or come at me bro no, i got come i got, at me, I got bro. my boys come at me bro come at me let's let's get in the game and let's settle this yeah. That's right, and and you can uh, settle in a game too, and which is the great part. Yacht Club's official stance is we don't stand for <clears throat> any kind of hatred or judgment, negative judgment. Fuck uh, oh, unless unless towards, it's about not developing fast. I'm trying enough. to fill Jordan's <laughs> role in this. Yeah, uh, except towards uh, STEM. Uh, <laughs> we do not accept any kind of hatred. We will delicately try and poke you in the ass with a hot poker. While That's Jordan right. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway. Go okay, on. so <laughs> I, I wanted to bring up a a concept, and this the, I'm not going to do it justice. Uh, but Board Gamer in one of his um, uh, videos this week brought up the concept of development as a service. Okay, so mm. you know software as a service, right? SaaS. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I so so the concept I'll try and throw it into a nutshell, and I might not get it 100 percent right the way the way uh, he intended it, but. Development as a service, the way I see it, is that um, Star Citizen was kickstarted, uh, but then it, it, there was this the scope creep, the growth, throwing in planets. It changed what the original Kickstarter was, and its original go-live date was either 2014 or 2016. That's when it was supposed to actually launch la, la, you know, la. with stretch goals, etc. Now it's gone to the point where... Um, you know, we're looking at who knows, 2022, 2023, maybe, maybe further, right? Get it uh, right? As far as this, as far as this launch sort of date is considered right now, we've, we've been seeing, uh, 
we've been seeing the development of games go from uh, alpha releases and then they move through their beta cycle and they move to final release and some never actually get out of beta or some never actually release. So you're getting this concept of development as a service. Thanks, Shadow. <laughs> the point. <laughs> so the, 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 the point is people are paying right now to fund the development of the game right? Mm -hmm. We're backers. We're putting in money to develop the game. I'm not complaining about this in any way, shape or form, but is there a new emerging, uh, process, a new emerging, um, or process. brand of gaming called development as a service. And is this something that we should be worrying about, uh, in terms of it can, developing can I, and, and I will, star citizen included, but there's, there's other MMOs, I believe that are in this, in this way, but go ahead, shadow. So where did this come from? Um, Board Gamer brought this up as a as a. Okay, so I'm going to give you the, the the Joran part of this is fuck that question. There's no such thing as gaming as a service or development, development as a service. service. There's yeah. no such thing of it. I mean, this is yeah. just that's blah. not how it works. That's not how it works exactly. When you develop anything, you have a set of terms, you have a set of things that you're going to do, and you develop. Scope creep is the mistake of the project manager. I'm going to let him well, not, explain the rest of that. It's not always uh, the project manager's mistake. It's, it's, okay, it's, yeah, right. it's not always okay. a mistake. It's, it's, yeah. the, it's the good. CEO that wants periuncle blue on this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. Scope Creep can be good, but yeah. yeah. Well, okay, I, I, think, but... I think planets are a really nice periwinkle blue in this case. Yeah. So I'm, I'm okay with that color change. So Buster, have you ever been developing, like, involved in the process? Like, software anything any kind of software um right? no so <gasps> any, any building any sort of anything no. because because oh. this is I've, very related. I, built, I built uh sets for theaters i okay um, so a customer comes like to you stuff. customer comes to you says i want this then as you're building it they change that how does oh, that happen okay okay yeah, that's let's, let's get on that creep. let's get on that. so yeah scope so, creep so the killer of everything as an artist and in person who's done commissions and all kinds of work like that that not necessarily in game development or software development um i always i always set up contracts with clients of of the nature where i say okay here's here's like here's what you need for the like at the moment that we talked about it you know like i i create um, a, an estimate or whatever you call it, a quote, a quote, I create a quote and I say, okay, here, here's what, here's our contract. Here's what you want from me. And here's what I get from you. I get money. Right. And I install whatever the, the things are, but the thing is, is the mm -hmm. moment and I, but I always put a clause in my contracts that if anything else is added or subtracted, depending on, um, you know, how it's handled, like, you know, a client could like, I do events a lot. So it's like, I have a client that'll say, okay, I want, I want like a nice party with like, you know, this and that and this and that for 5,000. Like, here's my budget, here's 5,000. Okay, cool, like I'll, I'll work with you. I'll make sure that I can get you a good party for $5,000. But the moment that you start wanting a $10,000 party for $5,000, $5, I always put a clause in my contract that any add-ons, like, you know, the fees will go up. And I, I've had a couple of clients in the past that have been burned, you know, on, at least they think they've been burned by the fact that I put that in the contract and they yeah. didn't fully read my contract. Yes. Yeah, so, so like um, right. whenever, hold on, hold on, hold I mean, on. Let me say something. Whenever, like if you're the product manager or project manager on anything, you put together a project charter at the beginning, you get mm -hmm. all stakeholders together and you go through and you say, this is what you've asked for. You, you itemize it out completely and you say, it's going to cost this based upon what we're building here. Right. So that everyone mm -hmm. signs off on that. And if there's going to be scope creep, you show them the charter and say, is that on this? No. OK, well, price is going to no. change. Don't. Right. We're either going to have to drop Prices schedule, change, pricing, yes. like schedule, schedule budget or change. features. Right. And the right. timeline so is going to change. Sacrifices. Yeah. Anyway, no. we're, we're kind of getting off topic. So the, the, the okay. main discussion <laughs> point there really was about um, uh, development as a service. And, and I think we can kind of say that that we agree it's not really a thing and star citizens a special case right that we're kind of working through it okay but. star citizen isn't development as a service either no yeah I'm not, I'm not sure how this evening became a thing oh okay I no I, I, I didn't mean that Dr. Murray. It so, sounds thank, like somebody thank you for clarifying pulled some, somebody yeah. pulled some 
keywords out. I thought they sound smart. Keywords, hype, 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 hype. Keywords, hype. <laughs> And that's, no, and that's, no why, thing that's that. why you're around. No, I kind of smacked it a little bit because it just doesn't <laughs> exist. It's, it's, it's Get to the chase. I know this because this is my world. So All no, right. but I, and that's why that's why I busted up to Buster. I was like, this is you know this is something we can relatable, but it's not called a thing because it's stupid. But anyway, okay, go on, Stan, lead the show, brother. Next thing, <laughs> any speculation on a on the next concept ship? Maybe tomorrow. Is, is it coming tomorrow? Maybe. Mm. No, normally, normally concierge get a get a heads up. Yeah, well, like I, day of. Aren't tomorrow. You, you are. Yeah, I didn't get Buster a heads up. Buster is. Just, I know Buster yeah. is. Buster, what's it going to be? No. So it's not uh, going to be this what week. What do you hope it's going to be? I think it's going to be, it's not going to be a ship. It's going to be ground people and it's going to be that. <gasps> you think it's going to be the, the AA? Oh, you thing, heard so. it. You heard it here yeah. first. The basilisk one, the, the, not we don't have the basilisk, but the other one. What's it called? The, the ballista. ballista. The ballista. That's ballista. it. Yeah. Whoa, what do we call that? Theory crafting. Theory crafting. We don't theory craft. Oh, I, I, we we theory craft guessing. all the time. You, you, just every time we're we theory craft, you say guessing. you say Look stop it, George, stop it. No, I mean, the George George said, I love the theory crafting. So he's the guy that says don't theory craft. I I own. As far as like concept ships I own, I own the the Origin 135C, which is like kind of geared toward musicians. And I also um, would like to have the Santaki I. I know, like I hate buying concept Sun- ships Sun- because yeah. I hate waiting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have the con like the Santaki I as a concept ship. That, that is Santa that e? is. Well, I don't care how it's pronounced. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna have guns and it's real pretty. And I'm gonna shoot people pretty. with it. Yeah. I that's just, how I feel about I mean, ships now. Yeah, I I do like I do like a ship to look good. That's why I like the Car Twelve. Car Twelve is actually the one that made me want to play the game. So oh, the really? Gladiator is one of the best ships in the game. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, I love yeah. a beautiful ship. It's I pretty just, for me. I like a ship to be pretty, but I also like it to be deadly. Yeah. So you don't like the Car Twelve that much? <laughs> Not at the moment. No. That's a good point. So is it? It's the Santo Kiai and the Car Twelve. Those are the two you have. Do you have both? I, I don't have the Santaki eye, but I, I plan on getting it when it's available next. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, next sort of segment of the show is just really interviewing Buster and, and finding out, you know, uh, what brought you to Star Citizen? What, what makes what her What got you tick? excited about it? Uh, okay, well, what we got me to Star Citizen was on my first date with my boyfriend um, oh. six, almost seven years ago. Um, Dang! He you heard it first here. Me, she's taken boys and girls he, for a long time. He I'll get my hopes up. He was <laughs> he Go was uh, he was telling me about this game like on our first date that he he was really excited about that was not out yet but eventually it will be and then he supported what the year? Kickstarter. Uh, 2013 was when we started dating, so it was in 2012 that he backed. He was he's one Very of the nice. first nine. Backers. Early backer, early backer, yeah. A very early backer. And mm-hmm. um he was excited. He was telling me all about this. And at the time I was like, whatever. I remember the day that he, he was oh. downloading it and he didn't have the RAM to make it work. And he was so upset. Not he enough. Was so upset. <laughs> no, he was just upset that he couldn't get it to work. So he he had been talking and then like a few years ago, like about three years ago, he got me an account because he had built me a tower. I, I, that's been the first time I'd had one in many years. So he had built me a tower and he was like, I'm getting you Star Citizen. And I was like, well, I don't know. He's like, what well, ship do you want here? Look at the ships with me and we'll pick one for you. And then I was like, I want that car to all. That was really cool. He had to be like a graded car to all um, that he gifted me. But that was like my first thing. And then... And then, like, as far as Twitch goes, I mean, I I started streaming on Twitch, like, probably, I was streaming about, I've been streaming for about a year, but it, but I, in the beginning, I was kind of, like, I was sort of just streaming um, random games, and then I started watching Star Citizen streams, and I was like, you know, I really need to just stream Star Citizen, like, I really enjoy that, I don't play it enough. I, you know, Star Citizen was something I picked up, like, once, maybe every few months, and played uh, before then. And so I started, you know, I started watching people like Nerd Show and Tell actually, and I'm pretty, pretty tight with that boy. He's my brother. Um, but we, um, 
you know, I started watching people like him and others and just was like, oh, I should start doing this more often. It was actually Nerd Show and Tell who got me to affiliate and within like a 48 hour period. <laughs> oh, <I can't laughs> tell and so it, it's been like kind of a really crazy thing because I've I've met so many like really good friends. I even had an old friend who I reconnected with uh, a few years ago because he and I were just acquaintances before. And then we started to like reconnect after um he, we love that we play and, and we've been in a D and D group for like three or four years now together too. And so it's Star Citizen has brought me nothing but friends and your uh, your Discord experience. is cutting out a little bit there. So, oh, yes, that's just me. Sorry. Okay, good. That's it's okay. Good. I, th I, I think we got me. the gist of it, though. Um, <laughs> so, so we have a couple of questions coming in chat for you. And the first one, I think, is probably the most important. And uh, that comes from uh, Mystic Physics. Um, mm -hmm. He's asking what uh, your boyfriend's concierge level is. I don't know. I didn't know there's concierge levels. <laughs> well, that's a joke. That's that's actually a hilarious joke amongst people what? who is back like some... and, and their wives or girlfriends that's you know this is yeah. space it's mostly men but but i mean if if, if oh, it was high admiral you were higher than oh, him there you go. That's... Yeah. yeah he's a high admiral oh you but you above him no i don't have concierge yet <sighs> yeah because he gifted okay. me all my ships so he okay. got well, concierge oh, off my back fine <laughs> Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, take, if you want to boost her up above her boyfriend, give me money on Twitch. So <laughs> That's right. You have to give her I money so she can buy more ships. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be give hilarious. Me, if give me, give me money. <laughs> Scuba Steve asks uh, probably the second most important question: um, What what exactly have you destroyed? Uh, I destroyed them. Sorry, you're cutting out the Discord. No, I don't know what's going on with this. Says, oh, oh, here, me... <laughs> oh no! We have hype master hype, and uh, we've got it, the boost. So it's got to be on her end. Oh no! Oh, she dropped out. She dropped out of Discord. No. Oh, she'll she'll come back. She'll come back. Okay. Well, she'll come back. Let's talk about other stuff while we wait for Buster to come back. Uh, we have. Oh my God! Be right back. <laughs> let's, let's go to. Okay, we've one more discussion topic before we uh, go into Q and A as well. So, uh, the, the discussion topic is: if you were going to have put a an Avenger versus a three twenty five A. Oh, who asked this? this I think I know who that asked. There, this. So, there, I'm back. Hey, welcome hey, back. Welcome yeah. back. <sighs> so Sorry, we'll get to that one after. So, uh, Buster, um, mm -hmm. what exactly have you destroyed? Uh, I don't break hearts. I destroy them. Oh, there you go. Nice. Um, I, I mean, <laughs> I've, I've actually, I probably, I probably destroyed a couple of the servers for CIG. Honestly, I, I, I have done some, some bad things. And <laughs> my favorite thing we ever, I did with my friends was, I think we really messed up a server when we stuffed, uh, probably about 50, uh, Probably between 30 to 50 dragonflies into poor O's main room where you yeah. call up your shoes. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, guys, I just, I just want to put these in this poor O. It was 3 2. Or, or <laughs> yeah, we were saying goodbye to 3 2. I'm like, I just want to send 3 2 off real nice. <laughs> so oh, we did that. And we, we really messed up the server that day. <laughs> Everybody was in the server was complaining <laughs> about how slow it was. <laughs> Well, since there's only 50 now, but you know, totally see that. <laughs> yeah. So, so what do you want to, what excites you about Star Citizen and, and what gameplay are you most excited about? Um, what excites me about Star Citizen really is just all of like the community. Honestly, I really love the community. Um, I, I have a good time playing with a lot of my friends. That's probably the thing I enjoy the most about Star Citizen overall. But um, as far as like in game, like what like content that excites me, uh, I, I always get excited by just whenever like something new drops that I haven't been able to do before. Um, I used to be able to say it was a female model coming out, but she's already out and we're happy. But um, <laughs> but, you know, I just I really like I, I don't know. Star Citizen is just it's one of those games like I can just be very creative in. 
right now. And I do I'm actually one of the people that enjoys like the goofiness of, of the bugs and, and what's going on. Cause I feel like this is going to be like one of those things, like I'm going to be able to look back from now when the game's released and be like, man, remember like, remember when my torso like kept contorting that weird way, like for years ago and it was so much fun, <laughs> you know, like, no, I don't remember that dance, but I'd like to see it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love, I love I, 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 there's so many things about Star Wars doesn't excite me, but it's just, it's really well, anything, in three, six? anything in three six, anything at three six that gets you going Ooh. or three seven. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I, had a, I, had a I want to kill. I, I want to take all my friends at 90 jumps and crash them. Oh, mm. we can't be friends anymore. Yeah. yeah. I don't like, want you to catch my baby. He's scared. Well, yeah. I like this. I like yeah, this. I, 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 want, I, like I want my say, 890 to stay nice and mint. I like to say, come at me, bro. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, really, I mean, it's it's an epic ship, but yeah, I mean, every ship. I am, has, I'm actually it, very interested. Like, I think the interior of the 890 is extremely So what if you actually right. owned an 890? Would you feel the same? Yes. <laughs> Still crashing. Oh, really? This is just, yeah, for science. Come on. For science. Okay, so for science, we will try and take yours. Okay, I, I, feel, I don't have I feel one. Science coming on. No, if you had one. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> if you had yeah. If I'm, I'm the stars align. Oh, and I'm excited for the law system. I'm interested to see how that is going to work out because I'm a bad girl. Mm -hmm. Bad girl. And I, I, I hope and that how it all pans out, right? Yeah, how it all pans out. I'm interested to see how being a bad girl is gonna pan so out. So if, if I like if I like nudge you in the face with an elbow, does that count? Right? right. I mean is that the law system? I mean, I, I I hope it gets that granular. I mean so, you know, like you can <laughs> So is that is that like a piracy that you wanna play or I I actually overall, um, I actually have an org. Um, I don't really promote the org because it's not really game content. Oh, I, I feel yet, a promotion coming yeah, on. Yeah, no, oh, say no. It. I want to do. Um, I want to do. Uh, he promotes his shit. I want to have a space roadie company, like be a space space roadie. roadie? Yeah, What's and have and like transport like gear like for shows and stuff like that in ships. And I even have suggested like on their so if I was a DJ. Yeah, exactly. I, I'd be the first to party around. You get my shit there. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And then that's gonna happen. Yeah, and that's another. That's thing. That's my only goal is to take my eight ninety to every single. Exactly. And actually yeah. throw a party. So. Actually, the eight ninety like made me think about like because you know there's mobile stages in real life where it's like on the back of an eighteen wheeler and you you pull it up you you detach it from the eighteen yes. the, the, the tractor and you start building it out. It starts unfolding out yep. and then got like stage yep. hands come through and they put supports in. they do all kinds of stuff. How cool would it be to have a ship that literally yeah, like, right. folds it out into a stage? Oh yeah. Mm. Like, right you know, how, how cool would it be wow. to be at the, the Daymar rally and like set right up a into festival a stage? Party. Yeah. Set up a festival stage at the Daymar rally. So that way, like <sighs> there's actually more of an event. I feel like we just like identified that. an epic event. Yeah. And yeah, an and epic new ship concept. There is like the VIP <laughs> section. Well, we'll have a couple of them. <laughs> it's very yeah, Mad like Max, you know, with the with, the, <laughs> yeah. with the bass guitarist on the front of the the car. Oh, Hell don't, yeah! Don't like go that's, mad. That's, that's kind of that's kind <laughs> that's of the gameplay cool. I would like to see in the future. Like it, like it. Hey, thanks for the sub, on a ship. Hey yo, <laughs> yo, we like the subs. Uh, Jen and Tonic just reminded us that that we hadn't mentioned Game Glass yet. So uh, good man, uh, 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 thank you, Jen and Tonic. <laughs> so do you realize uh, how much he gets paid every time he says on, that? On a on a side note for that, so I how actually much do um, you get paid? I had a friend yeah. that had a Surface Book, and mm -hmm. th it's got a great resolution screen. It's I think it's three thousand by two thousand. They're fantastic resolution screens, and I took it to my place to take off all the files and give it back to her. And then I plugged it in. Oh, I came geez. back to it two hours later and the screen was starting to bubble. And I was going to use this as my game glass tablet uh, at my workspace. And I was super excited about it. Uh -huh. And the screen started uh -huh. to bubble and bubble. And the, basically the battery is in that top part. So the battery was overheating and it was about to explode or something or catch What's fire. That? So Where I just are we going with this? turned it off. <laughs> so... What we're saying is services suck ass. Well, what okay. was the point? Uh, my my game glass <laughs> experience. I, I couldn't use game glass the way I wanted to, but I'm going to use game glass in other ways. I've got an iPad mini. Oh, it's, you get paid every so. time you say game glass? Hey, thanks for the follow. I'm going to say it 10 times faster if you're not careful. Curious by <laughs> nature. Oh, that's game, a good name. 
I, I actually use Game Glass, and I really like it a lot. It's fantastic. Like it? Okay. Yeah, there Very we go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's all it, about... It's, okay, it's really so... convenient when somebody ahead. is EMPing you, and you need to turn on real fast, and you, you're just, like, freaking out. Because I am a per- person who panics when I play, so the Game Glass, like, kind of helps me, like, okay, power back on, power back on. <laughs> Press the buttons. Press the buttons. buttons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smash all the buttons. Product for somebody like me. I just press R a bunch. <laughs> okay, so here's the real question: Did you buy it's not Game the Glass same. or were you gifted it? Uh, Game Glass gifted me their product. Nice, nice. But you still like it? That's important. They they gave it's us some product. codes. They gave too, us a bunch of codes. We gave them all away. They didn't yeah. give us codes. They, they gave, gave us codes yeah. to give away. Codes. Well, I'm sure we could have kept of some of them, us, but, except but, for. But we have Somebody. we have a statement on this show that if something Somebody. is gifted to us, we give it back to the community. That's our thing. Someone so, has so, a code. Not yeah, a good policy. fingers. But. <laughs> yeah, but I paid for it. I was one of the original backers. I used Nubifier's uh, code. Fair it was enough. on his channel to get oh, a good discount oh, oh, when, gotta, when, when that was available. Fair. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, thanks, uh, Noob, okay. for that one. That was great. Good discount. Who in chat awesome. has Game Glass and do you like it? Jen Hold says on. that they have it. Jen and Tannic. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All D- Dalamar's got it. That's great. Are you guys using it yeah. right now? Or are you kind of waiting before you use it? Or do you have no other know. alternative? <laughs> yeah. Is your keyboard broken? Or do you have no other alternative? Yes, I have, I have I two stream it. decks as well, Roland, and and I like those as well. But I think Game Game Glass is is my preferred uh, for. Well, the it's NFT your only panel. choice. It's your only well, no, choice. The it's stream decks, choice. the Elgato stream decks, they work really well. Yeah. Stream deck is just a keyboard map. Yeah, yeah but oh, it's well, still right. that's what Game it Glass still is. has. That's what Game Glass. Game Glass is a website. It still that's has it things you can push, right? So wouldn't it be better if something else came out that was better and did more and actually yeah but until you write that code and bring it out it's all talk okay i I have faith that you can do it but you're busy doing other things your time spent doing other things i think really to do it better you need an api and uh, oh oh yeah that's that's big somebody that's big somebody here's what i'm saying Hmm. i look forward to the social shard and being able to set up some like emotes i tend to use a lot and like just be able to we can already do that what, on your oh, I'm sorry. We can already do that. Yeah. Well, you can do that with Game Glass as well. They have, a, they have a social shard as well. Yeah. I just, I like because it's immersive to the game too. Like it looks it is. like it really is. The game. You, you need yeah. to be able to salute and, you know, stand attention or I like to blow smack kisses. the shit out of the person in front of you. Sorry. I'm I, like, I like to do the one that's like. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm sure you use that a lot. That's, that's why that's, I don't play with Doc. That's totally going to be the screen especially grab for the YouTube we, uh, thumbnail right there. Especially when Doc's <laughs> flying through an asteroid field in the Grim X. <laughs> Need to mark the time in the show. <laughs> so Next question. That later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's dive into some of the questions. Good idea. Okay. Normally, T nicer serves us so, up those. So, I think uh, these two for. questions aren't for uh, for Buster, but they're ones that, that have been asked this week. So, will the 600i be getting improvements, like for more modules? This comes from Morgan, uh, and this was out of Discord, um, one of the channels, uh, out of the Yacht Club Discord, so that's great. What do you guys think? Uh, Dr. Murray, you want to put this one to bed? <laughs> more really? modules yeah. for the 600i yeah you said that. yeah um yeah so I, I wouldn't count on it for a while there there might be some later like 2026 20, time frame what defines module like 20 like, well the, yeah. the middle section is oh, a module okay. <laughs> yeah it's even yeah, it's called a module that's the difference between the uh the trickery and the explorer hmm. is the center module but i don't think they'll make any new modules for a while yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 don't I doubt it's... they'll make any more modules, to be quite honest. Um, they could, they could, but I doubt they will. Yeah, um, but, but they, future time. They've definitely going to do some, some reworking on to, hey, thanks hey, for hosting. Hey. Thanks to those that are joining us. Um, so they're, they're definitely going to have to upgrade things like the, <laughs> uh, the expiration mechanic with the globe. 
that they have. So there's going to be a few things that are done to it, and that might mean that they have to do passes of the interiors of those rooms uh, to make that work. So there might be some stuff, but I don't think that they'll... Unless they've got to do little passes, but I don't think they'll do a quote-unquote rework. Like that's yeah. Asking too much. Next question. I think it's that. Last question. Uh, well, do, you, it, it's not happen. do you think Sony's PS5 patent on loading screen... On loading screenless game world streaming, will conflict with server side object container streaming. Well, no, no uh, it's that's not the same thing. It's not even a thing yet. Yeah, that's no. So, so Captain Nemo asked that. Do, do you guys want to want to update me on that? I I don't know what that is. Okay. So and maybe the rest well, of the Doc, community that doesn't. I'll let you. Well. I'll let you start this one off. With well, all I know is that server side OCS isn't the same thing as what. Sony's trying right. to uh, patent. So they're trying to do no loading screens. Is that right? There, it, it yeah. Just, it just has a, it's, So it's, it's like it's a background about, loading kind of thing, forward well, loading? It's their version of keeping people close to things that are close to them, which is what yeah. OCS is all about. They're basically copying yeah. pretty ex- in sources. Duh. Okay. Well, it, it's it, more. Knowing Sony, it's not going to happen. Being developed <laughs> It'll be terribly done. But, Thanks for the yeah. follow, Rancid. Hey, Rancid. Uh, Thanks, sir. I wouldn't count on the patent being a problem for CIG. It's not a problem. It's not even a yeah. thing. It's like a who cares. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Buster, do you play uh, console? Any consoles at all? Um, I play occasionally on console. I probably would mostly play on Nintendo Switch. Um, I, I've Good been choice. Really, I've been really into... Um, you know, Breath of the Wild was amazing. I can't wait for that sequel that's going to come oh, out. When's that coming out? Only game that uh, well, it's played. in development. They just announced okay. that yeah. a, okay. a sequel's in development, and Breath they gave a little teaser yep. trailer. But um, I love Yoshi's Crafted World oh because I was a huge fan of Yoshi's Woolly World. I have wow. all three of the <laughs> Amiibos. I probably have a thousand dollars Amiibos alone. So wow. I have oh, wow. I have no, all three of the call. Woolly World. Your your ones. Nintendo concierge. Yeah, it really a little is. bit. I mean, a little bit. I know, I, know, I know Pixel and a couple other people in this channel are definitely on your ball, but I mean, yeah, that's look, a great look, gaming genre. This is probably my favorite one. Oh, snap. Wow. She's whipping oh, them out. Snap. What is it? Because hold up. Hold up. They're in love. Is that, is that oh. Wario? <laughs> no, no, that's Bowser. No, it's, it's Bowser. Bowser and, yeah. oh, very Bowser and the there. princess. With a top hat. So, so, so are you now trying to say like like Jared so much? Are you trying to say that the you bad boy it. gets the girl in the end? Is that is that what you it is? Damn right she does. I just love does. Bowser. I hate Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong and I are are at odds and we've always been. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong is a rude. He's always the one that gets me with the blue shell in in, in Mario Kart and he is not welcome in this house. He we do not have a Donkey Kong. Ever since Donkey Kong, Kong Country. Can't turn your back on him. Yeah, you can't turn off. He's the, rude. The Dota 64 kind of ruined that. Whole... But Bowser crew from <laughs> life. I love Bowser. Bowser has always been in, yeah, you because know, he was on in the. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, but I do. I love, <laughs> and then I have a PS4, and I've been playing a few things on that. But like, I don't know. I, I, I what's that one? I call it the red hair. I call it the the red haired lady game. The one where she fights the dinosaur people things that are robots. You what got all of us. Yeah. <laughs> zero Horizon Dawn, Zero Dawn Horizon, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Zero Dawn. Zero I Horizon. I like that one. I've been playing okay. that. Yeah. Zero Dawn Horizon. I don't, I don't know. Anyone? Anyone? I call it Red Hair Lady Game. In, Red Hair Lady in Game. chat, anyone? Anyone? Red Hair Lady Game. Horizon Zero Dawn. Thank you, OG. We were trying to relate. None of us got it. But anyway, no, that's good. No, I. In the, oh, man. This. The console versus PC thing is always going to be real, but yeah. let's face it. The PC what do you mean? Is there's, a race. Yeah, there's no contest. There, the PC there's, is a... there's the PC MR, and then there's console plebs. And then there's. Thank you. <laughs> I like Master it. Race. Agree? Yep. Agreed. The Master Race will always be here. And I was a huge Mass Effect fan back in the day. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, Which sorry. platform? There we go. Which yeah, platform? sorry about number I, three. I played it on the 360. But yeah. I, I, ha- I, had like all, I have all of them on PC. Did you ever play it on PC? Yeah, I play them on PC now because I don't have a 360 anymore. Do you so like it better or did worse? you play? Did you play Andromeda? I def- no, I didn't. I, yeah, see, I he's smart. 
Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, because don't, homie, don't play that. Homie, don't play that. Now, I have. I prefer them. <laughs> I prefer playing them with a controller, just because that's what I'm used to. But like, okay. I, I mean, I play them with a controller on my PC when I play them. So, so I love that game. I really do. We call that giving They're... yourself a handicap. <laughs> that was, uh, well, no, it's you know, actually not too far off. When all no. the buttons are on one little thing that I can hold yeah. very comfortably in my hands, and I, I have be a better reaction time generally with. A, well, no, I get that. I totally controller. get that. I mean, like, I, I don't, I don't relax a lot, so I don't yeah. sit in front of a TV. I always, and, like, I always call my shepherd shotgun shepherd because I always, always, always use shotguns. Well, Twitch, yeah, I mean, he's I don't just care. In general like, direction. If there's some dude I can snipe that's like 500 yards away, I will go find him and shotgun him in the face. So much fun. <laughs> See, ladies and gentlemen, that's called a tactic. And that's what we call gameplay. And yeah. that's what we not call the common everything else we have in games today, which sucks. But anyway, next question. Do we have so, another yeah, I got a question. So, so what do you like doing the most on your channel? Um. Um, okay, okay. Here's, Let, here's, let's keep it Star Citizen. Don't know. Yeah, it, it's um, is I my favorite thing to do in Star Citizen right now is to play a game called a Cyclone Ski Ball. My friends and okay. I made up, which is where you get like a ship that you could you could fit. Um, a cyclone into like generally a Valkyrie works. Um, the freelancer max is great. You know, you set sure. up a few ships like on Magda specifically Magda at Perlman. There's like a, there's a nice little crater right next to all that. And you set, you set your, your little, your ships in a way. So you open the backs of them and you can also fall on Magda without dying from the right. ship. And so, mm -hmm. and, you know, all you need to do is just do your med, med pen if you get a little bit of damage. But, um, but then you just try to like jump your, your, your stuff into the back of the ships and that's really fun okay. yeah, <laughs> i love cool. that and then so, also bo buggy bowling which is where you line up uh gray cats in, like bowling pins and you hit them with a cyclone and see how far they fly to see if you can light them on fire i like i make up games in the game so, so mo <laughs> most people boy. like jumping oh, out of a ship so you're doing the reverse where people run at it and go up yeah. the ramp and it's where yeah. they land in the inside, yeah. Like yeah, you that. try to you try to get so yeah you try getting yourself into the ship like and then like, we don't really have a point system. Nobody really wins. We just like to do it. It's fun. <laughs> what you should do <laughs> don't die that way. For some real fun, what you do is you get two freelancer maxes and one cyclone, and you drive one from the other while you're in space. Oh yeah, yeah. we've done that before. Where you like, we, I actually suggested we needed to make a bridge of ships and then yeah. like, drive on top of them. Yeah, on top of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and oh. I, I'm also. I'm also uh, really good at um, surviving 100k drop, 100k Atmo drops on Hurston with the Cyclone. Like <laughs> two for two, baby. Nice. Two for two. Yeah. Like Sean Baumgartner. Like 100k out. Yeah, like literally, I I get my ship just at like 100k. Like usually it's about I feel 99. A challenge and, and why why 100k? <laughs> that's where the atmosphere is. Okay. Yeah, that's where the yeah, atmosphere where the is. Atmosphere like that's where the starts. changes. Okay. So, Jump you know, up. you have to, you, cause if you just go in space, it'll just sit there, you know, it'll just, yeah. Yeah. so you, can't do anything. So you got to get it just right and get your ship just right. And it's, it's, it can be a little difficult sometimes to get can your you, ship at that right at the I, edge of atmosphere. If, if you were, if you were outside of it, could you EVA into it and then fall? No, no, it has to be below. It has to be in the atmosphere. Yeah, you're just barely in the atmosphere. So. Oh, there's just no, no, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. But if, if your ship is at, hundred thousand and like one inch okay you get out of the ship can you eva in your person into the atmosphere yeah. past that threshold I oh yeah we'll have yeah. to find out yeah yeah you totally I, have I've, to try that. I've, I've discovered you fall. through mr hd vertigo that you can like on some ships you can crawl like to the right. edge of the mm -hmm. the ta like the back gate and you can actually like you'll ragdoll instead of doing the t-pose fall you'll ragdoll down and <laughs> sometimes you can actually survive better on a ragdoll fall yeah oh. and then uh how long does that take oh 100k drop in a cyclone that takes a good 20 minutes yeah oh, oh, wow. 20 I was minutes. Wondering, 
Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's and it's it is as a streamer, it's great because I'm just sitting there falling, getting some cool screenshots, just talking to chat. Like <laughs> as a, that's that's one of the reasons I actually like the long distance jumps. Uh, that like the, the fact that some of the jumps take so long because it gives me a moment to just take a break and talk to my chat. There you go. Yeah. This so, yeah. is how we're gonna die next. <laughs> But yeah, I love doing that. That's so much fun. I'm probably gonna do another one next week, another hundred k. Like especially when the ranger comes out, I gotta do the ranger drop. And see how the ranger. I've drops. fallen from oh, that man, atmosphere yeah. a few times. I think when Hurston first released, we were flying dragonflies around in the PTU, and you hit a rock and it just decides to go up, and the dragonfly yes. would just keep climbing. Yes, and it'll keep climbing and <laughs> climbing. Yes. I've done that. And then so suddenly many you're times. out of the atmosphere and you're like, oh, okay, what now what do I do? Then you just. <laughs> EVA back to the atmosphere and fall 100,000 kilometers. Yeah, been oh. there, done that. That that's that's uh, that can be annoying when hey. you don't want it to happen. And then falls, right? your your idea about uh, about creating a bridge of ships. What would you use to do that? Bridge? Oh, probably like some freelancers because they have a pretty solid spine on them. If that makes okay. sense. Um, what about the caterpillar? Even, Caterpillar would be that excellent, actually. That's that's very it, well shaped. It's not a smooth top, though. Is it? Eh. Is it not? No, it's kind know. of. Yeah, but you know. Well, I mean, if you're it's, 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 it's bridged. It's bridged. Cyclone. It's bridged. <laughs> it's bridged for her pleasure. <laughs> Doctor Murray, for shame. No, there's no fucking shame here. Trust me. <laughs> None whatsoever. I have very little. Shame. I'm here, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Prove that. laughs> <laughs> yeah, already I love, I love doing stuff like that <laughs> are we I done all. you want to go no <laughs> yeah so we're, we're pretty much done we've answered all the questions as far as i know um but we had some people join last minute so i didn't want to i didn't want to wrap it up real quick and i think people are enjoying just last minute away. questions any last minute questions how do they answer question <laughs> Well, they should well, type you can, exclamation oh, point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can type your question in chat, uh, preface it with some kind of indicator, like a Q, question. maybe at the end putting a question mark, that kind of thing, and we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll pull it out. And I know, we don't stuff. talk with our mouth full of food. Yeah. I'm not talking. <laughs> Buster, would you like Sorry, I couldn't hear you. That was that was kind of muffled. <laughs> I love Oreo. You know the best way to, to eat an Oreo and milk? Put a fork no, in the I little don't. white part. The little white part, put just your fork, Double just stuff? like, just put a fork just a little bit into it and then dip it that way so you don't have to get the milk warmed up. Double stuff, right? Double stuff. No, you can right? use regular size Oreo. I'm just saying, that. double stuff would be better though, right? Oh, God, I hate those. <laughs> <laughs> I hate double stuff. Fine. So uh, much with all Is it my like heart. cheating? <laughs> I love no, all the it's Oreos. Just, it's too much of the, the stuff. It's too much of the little filling. Perfect. Double stuff for the, the best Oreos. The uh, right. I like the thin ones the most. Those are really good. Yeah, that's ah, good. okay. Mega stuff. Thank you, Mr. Car. I mean, I don't like mega stuff, but they are the yeah. ultimate. Like, that, see, that's over. too much, though. That's too much. It is, it is too much. Double stuff oh, is just the right stuff. It's just sugar. Yeah, exactly. It's just sugar Here's something fun I can sugar. tell you all about. It is. Um, yeah, it's a goddamn cookie. What do you want? In me. I have enough to <laughs> burn it off, okay? But okay. I do have I do have plans in the future. Like, you know how on the G Lock bar menu there there's like cocktail menu. There's a cocktail menu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I actually I've reached out to Zylo himself and asked him if he could tell me what the flavors of some of those alien ingredients are because I would like to do a stream where I make those. Oh, I own, I own a property called the Cocktail Channel, and I would really, 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 really. really <laughs> also, like to I want to know go. if I'm ordering drinks at any bar in Star Citizen, I always want the option to get a double. Because <laughs> that's there all we, I have. Right? There we go. Yeah. Well, Mystic Star that's is going to be our much, bartender. <laughs> as pretty much anyone in this right. channel that's met me in person, I'm kind of a double kind of person. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure you're gonna see that coming up, but yeah, I mean, I, I want that ability to say, yeah, I want that drink, but I want it double, the good stuff double. So anyway, Swift Tropics asks, are we going to Citizen Con? And our thoughts on the ticket process so far? Great question. So, um, I'm going to Citizen Con. It's hard as long as I can get a ticket. Um, Shadow's going. He's um, volunteer. He's volunteering. Uh, Jordan should be volunteering as well. That's one of the other hosts of the show uh, that couldn't be here tonight, but he is in chat. Um, and, 
uh, Dr. Murray's not going and Buster's not going. So that, that answers that part. As far oh, as Buster, Buster's, Buster's unsure if she's Buster's going. Unsure. Okay. My boyfriend has family in the UK and there's moments oh. where he's like, oh, it would be cool to like go over there and like do citizen con and see my family. And then other days he's like, I don't really want to go to see my family and all that. So it's like, have you met his family? Daily. No, I haven't. I haven't well, met there his family you go. over then there. Buy him like, tickets. His parents and everybody <laughs> here, but take, like his take, take that money you had before and buy him tickets and let's see if he accepts the gift. Yeah, I would love to. I go like where this is going. You know, passport, so. <laughs> because with your mouth full of cookies. we're gonna we're gonna create a yacht Stop. club house. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right? It's you already gonna be a house. house. You, you and your man, and we'll have a good time. Hell Don't yeah. all bets are off. What's gonna happen in that house? I'm just saying. <laughs> what happens in the yacht club house stays in the yacht club house. Pre warning, um, yes. <laughs> so the second part of that question was, what do we think about the sales process so far? Um, well, how do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. seriously. Okay, but but here's a question, and and it's not a it's not a judgment. It's just basically saying, you know, I, I think that one thing that CIG does is they oscillate back and forth when they have pain points. They mm -hmm. they try and compensate each time they have a pain point from a previous learn, uh, whether it's a previous citizen con or whether it's a previous concept sale, to try and find out what works for the um, for the community for their audience. And it could be that they're A/B testing, you know, what. what what works and what doesn't work because I'm sure they've got this is they're breaking a lot of ground with what they're doing so this is all kind of new but I think what's happening here is they're overcompensating because that's only what um, 600 tickets that are being sold tomorrow 500 500 tickets and well, so what was the max what was the max did they give a max I don't know do we have one for the Manchester no they just wave one is 500 tickets yeah so I mean I remember when, when I bought my ticket uh, last year, I wanted to buy a premium ticket. I wanted to buy a VIP ticket, but I was going with two other people and uh, they were hesitating as to whether or not they wanted to do VIP and I wanted to sit with them, right? So, so by the time I found out that I wanted to buy a VIP ticket, I had kind of missed the opportunity. Right, because of the way that the ticket sales worked. So now this time that they're doing it, uh, there's there's only one ticket. That's the first thing. There's no VIP ticket. It's one ticket that's been confirmed mm -hmm. by by Zylo, um, and so cool. which is which is very cool. Um, so I don't know if the first tickets are closer in the stage, like closer to the stage. If the wave one tickets are closer than the wave two or wave three tickets, Probably but I can not. tell you right now, I'm going to want it. I'm going to want to try and buy my ticket in the very first go. So I'm going to be sitting there at 11 a.m. Uh, doing the F5 war to try and, oh, no. to try and get think early? an early ticket. It's not that early. <laughs> East Coast, early it might be a bit early. <laughs> I have to, I have to exactly. get up early for it. That's right. That's right. So uh, anyway, um, that's my thoughts on the, on the What do you mean so you far? have to get up early on the East Coast? It's going to be like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. This is so early. I so swear to God, early. I just got up. <laughs> just got up. Yeah. Okay. So let let's let's put it in a, let's put it in the LA standpoint for next year. Buster, you think you're mm -hmm. gonna go? LA? I, I mean, totally possible. Definitely. I if if the next one's in LA, like the one after's in LA, I'm gonna definitely go there. Um, mm -hmm. I, I definitely owe Disco Lando a couple drinks for all the trouble. Oh, 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 oh me. snap! <laughs> Here first. Big heart. <laughs> but yeah, um, I I do I do want to go to like an LA one because I am going to TwitchCon this year in San Diego. So like I kind of you know I, that's that's really for that? me going um, September Tim, the very talk? end of September, like September twenty sixth through twenty ninth. We talked about like going that. to that or twenty seventh to twenty ninth. So do we have, do we have to run some interference uh, with your boyfriend <laughs> while you're chatting to Disco? <laughs> Oh, my boyfriend snap. is extremely aware of this and he's just like whatever <laughs> like he, he went actually the day that it's I like, like meeting I, a, a i told a him hot celebrity right <laughs> yeah like he he I the day part? that my boyfriend Jeez. was informed of, of my love of disco lando he said oh is he your boyfriend now uh is he gonna pay for your shit now <laughs> the sooner the better <laughs> so wow. i was like there's no shots know, there fire 
<laughs> you know, it's just, he was just joking, but it was funny. I, I, he has he has a good attitude about those sorts of things. He's not a jealous type at all. So he does, he's like, well, that's cool because so like he's virtual like, boyfriend, right? Like virtual yeah. friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Torin might give give us a little bit of insight on this, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. It's 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 funny. My uh, my wife and I we have a we have a, a top ten list of like celebrities that if we <laughs> I think if, so many couples do that if, if we met <laughs> like... them and we had the opportunity to sleep with them it's okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> but the problem is I, I know I'm losing out on this deal yeah. <laughs> because yeah. she yeah, she travels the world and works end. with like all these soccer players, these professional soccer teams and all these guys. So I'm like, wait a minute, There's no soccer no players alive. Here. No soccer players <laughs> allowed on, on the top 10 list. Right. <laughs> anyway, we, we just had uh, an email come in and uh, Gin and Tonic had mentioned that it had come in to him. I know T. Nightster had it come in. For those of you that have Game Glass, uh, they're just announcing that their launch date for their full release is coming out, and that is July 24th. That's great. It's been in beta this whole time. Uh, very exciting. So uh, for those that, great timing. that are looking forward to it, July 24th. Great time. There we go. Yeah. Great time. And there we go as far as Game Glass is concerned. Okay, so uh, T. Nystor, you're going to hook us up hopefully with someone to raid? So we're going to send... Wait. Wait. So Buster, so Box, because normally Joran gets to take your spot, but you're here right now. If you could say anything to the Star Citizen community, what would you say? You got two minutes. Go for it. <laughs> uh, Star Citizen community, I love you very, very much. I think you're a wonderful community. Um, the, the, the good eggs outshine the bad eggs every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for all your support and all your, all your love that you've ever sent me. And uh, I hope to play and meet more of you in the future. And <laughs> uh, if you have a problem with more women in the game, then uh, come see me, and I, I will. I, I will. I'll get, get you some asking. learning, honey. I'll get you some learning done. We'll we'll get you there learned you right up, some sweetheart. Size K's in your face. Uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw we'll throw we'll throw some omniskis on that on that arrow, and we'll show you a good time, honey. There you go. Is it omniski or is it Omni Sky? Oh shit! You just blew all wide open. I like Omni Sky. I say Omni Sky still. I say Omni. I say Ominsky. I even call I call I call it Chellin too. Like everybody says Selin, I call it Chellin. Oh no, it's Selin. There's there's no H in there. I don't care. I say Chellin because Cello C E L L O that you say Cello, but there's an H. I, yeah, I, I, but you don't, no, unless you're no Spanish, you don't yellow. say yellow either for jello, do you? You say amarillo in Spanish, <laughs> which is the county uh, from, amarillo. I feel like she's more educated than that. I know. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. So but. what we're going to do is we're going to send uh, the raid off, and I think this is really fitting. Uh, we're going to be raiding... Um, Astro Pub. Astro Pub. Yay, Paul. Yay. So My when we get buddy. there... You need to carpet bomb his ass with Yacht Club and everything that makes yeah. Sarsis and great. Let him know where you came from. Right uh, countdown. Tell him, right tell count him what down. Buster said in the in the channel. And yeah. uh, we'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, get some love going there and get, yeah. some, get some more awareness about this words. topic. In exact words. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. I love to see you, Buster. Everybody. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Thanks Thank for joining us. Thank you for having us. me. I really had a good time. Oh, with pleasure. You guys. We hope Thank to you have so you much. back. And don't we, forget to watch Buster's to be... stream tomorrow night. Yes, everybody. Uh, yeah. yeah, the night crew. Night crew night underscore night crew. SC. Night crew underscore hey. SC. I'll be hosting that tomorrow night. Thank God we're gonna have new the, content tomorrow because I'm sick of talking about last week's content. Totally agree. Thank Jesus. <laughs> and thank you all. Thank y'all chat. I know I haven't been responding to y'all as much when y'all talk to me like in typing, but thank y'all so much. It's I appreciate okay. y'all. Yeah. I appreciate all y'all. <laughs> and and thanks everybody for for showing up and and hopefully uh uh, Jordan's uh, wife's dog is doing well because that's the reason Aww, he, he couldn't kind of make thing the, the whole thing. So uh, hopefully poor that. Uh, Not that, saying that that's why well. you're standing in, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we were gonna have Buster uh, anyway. It so just worked anyway. out for me to be in his spot. So and it did work out, uh, good. even though I was already gonna be guest. But yeah, Joe, yep. oh, so box. <laughs> 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 that was a really good impression.
<laughs> that was really good, Mallory. Just like him. <laughs> 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 uh, yep. Uh, no, All right. Fuck that question. Right. Love, love, love. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks for the fun. Oh, wow. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good.